Hello. Welcome back. It's that time of the week again. It's NASCAR Rivals at Vegas. It feels weird we're going to this now instead of Heat 5 because we've been doing that like all season long. But yeah, so we're here today to jump in, you know, to do Vegas 100% race. And to answer uh, someone's question in chat, yes, it'll be slightly better, majorly better from the Rover race. Will it be able to do green flag runs? So that is good. This is this is one of those tracks that was made, well, same with Monster Games, but I don't know why the Rover was so broken last week, but yeah. So this, this one should go much better. So yeah, welcome to everyone in chat like usual. I appreciate it. As always, for everybody uh, tuned in and watching. So, yeah. Actually, I should bring up my, uh, get rid of my, yeah. Bring up my control room so I can make sure everything's working properly. I'm assuming it should. But, yeah. So, there's a lot to talk about. Definitely not in the best, bestest of moods because well yesterday was very fucking depressing i was i was pleading to myself that it wouldn't be the case i was having the the most amounts of copium and nopium at the same time I, it was just I'm, I'm it was just terrible and today is another terrible day because this is the uh, anniversary where my friend committed suicide that's fucked up so the timing of all this is pretty shitty. So we're just gonna we're just gonna power through and we're gonna just keep on going like things are normal and and everything. So yeah, it's just I don't know. So we're just gonna I guess jump into it. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Um but yeah, there's no championship mode. JC, I said that I think I said that last week. But yeah, it's it's weird that it's not here. And even in the, I saw on I think on my Discord group the the game file or it, when you boot up the game and everything, it's showing you all the settings. It actually shows championship mode like qualifying settings if you want to do like quicker sessions. So that that's weird. <laughs> so I don't know why they they couldn't just. That's just sad. So I don't know. But yeah. Um, I do need to uh, get my typical uh, live stream drink because you know it, I don't I, I need to have like fuel and, and stuff so I'm gonna get that real quick. So we're a little bit low on uh, the Monster Energy Water. I mean, I, I have another uh, bottle, but so we should be good with that uh, for the most part. Um, everything should be going fine with it. I don't think there's really anything too much else to worry about with the the drinks and everything. So yeah, uh, let's see here. Get my headset back on. I hope I don't run out of this. I really hope I don't run. I don't hopefully I don't have to get back up out of my chair. Mm. Yeah. It's fucking sad. So got that. Got the Kirk car ready here. Uh, uh, God, it makes me emotional thinking about it. Oh, well, I figured what better way to personify my internal despair than to wear a shirt that shows it. And that's what we're doing, so 
Um, the shirt is in complete shambles and it's falling apart, but I'm getting my absolute money's worth out of it. And it doesn't really like to fit me. Or it, it, it's just basically falling apart. It doesn't like to stay on. Wait, let me get my big face cam up here. So, um, yeah, the shirt, not in the best of shape, if I'm going to put it lightly, but we, I'm trying my best, all right? You know, this is this is how I feel on the inside. It's falling apart. I thought that, that would be the best way to present it because I love you, Kurt. I, <clears throat> oh, okay, so... Yeah, so that now my shirt kind of has like a flag, like it, it has like a flag, so you get to see all my fat. So that's just really, really great. But I thought you know this would be a perfect way to personify what I'm dealing with. Dealing with. So yeah, we're just gonna jump into it. This we we're do, we're going to Vegas. Obviously, if you saw in the thumbnail, the racing is Kurt in honor of his career and. I don't even. I have no idea if he's gonna actually come back. Uh, oh, it's fucking horseshit. This situation's such bullshit. Should never fucking happened. that better it should be better because this that 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 setting is usually like what i set to when i record my normal videos why i don't really know but i just i just do so that's why so yeah um me Fix this now so it's back to what it usually is for normal videos. It's very delayed. Well that that fucking sucks. I'm sorry. I can't win. I can't win today. But so racing's Kurt. We gotta do it. I'm not going to worry about the face, the full face cam thing because that actually probably makes sense because I have it on delay for this one. But then when I go to the face cam, it keeps that like delay. I, I don't, whatever. Racing skirt. We're not going to go back to full face cam. I just want to show you what the hell my battle scars are like. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Vegas, we're going to the South Point 400 uh, settings, pretty much uh, slightly different. Uh, we got uh, less effect for the tire wear, infrequent, narrow skill range, uh, difficulties 105, full race length, four times, not four times wear, <laughs> normal, normal, and the more grip will be for more uh, uh, multiple stages, quick qualify, we're not going to qualify. But those settings will save it. So, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna. Why did it reset me back to this? What? That was weird. So yeah, going to South Point Four Hundred. It should be pretty a pretty quick race if I had to guess. We might even see an apple. Well, that wasn't part of the plan. But yeah, we're going to jump into it. Boom. <sighs> Man, it just sucks. This whole situation fucking sucks with Kurt. It's such bullshit. It should never fucking happen. These cars are such pieces of shit with the safety. I think this is really, like, the first time I think I actually got, like, really fucking pissed. Um, in, in a way where, like, I just... I was too emotionally pissed. It wasn't like controlled anger. It was just such horseshit.
Welcome to the start of the round of eight. So I'm saying, Alex Hayden. About, uh, this is Las you know, Vegas, and you Gen can bet you'll see some gambles from like, our eight already had, like, drivers in tonight's event. The Gen 6 car equals races a after thing. tonight, and the so, short track like, wild card of Martinsville will roll the dice and try to lock themselves in. And then, um, Dover in 2003, that was the second one. I mean, he had multiple other different types of concussions and stuff that happened to him before, you know, the one that ended him in 2016. So, that, 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 I, I don't even consider that. And, at least as far as I know, nothing I can find that any, he sustained any major injury, you know, before these cars. So, I don't know. It's just, it's just really fucking depressing. It's just, you know, after that, I mean, after Kurt, I mean, all I have left is Truex, and he might be retiring next year, so... It's just like, well then, you know, am I just going to be watching just to see how bad things can get? Like, is that really what I'm going to have to look forward to? I don't fucking know. It's just depressing. I don't know. Just such... But we're... I, I, I'm already working on a every win video for him. I've already got all the clips I needed. Got all the, the, the footage I needed. So... I do want to do that. I haven't actually done every win video in years, so I do want to make that. I feel like it'll be pretty cool. Well, most young drivers I kind of don't like. I can't. I I can't think of anything off the top of my head at the moment. I'll have to like think about it, but I was sort of liking Ty Gibbs until he almost tried to murder someone on pit road. I don't know, maybe in like maybe maybe in like 2036 I'll appreciate Ty Gibbs more. I don't know. But yeah. Uh do you like Byron? No, I don't. I think he just has a real either very soft soy boy attitude or you know, that that shit with Texas was ridiculous. He's also just had a really bad temper on eye racing. He's done a lot of stupid shit on there. I've seen some stuff about that, so um, he, he's either super milk toast or just just bland. There's, there's, I mean, I can almost make a tier list of just I, my tier list would be like most. <laughs> it'll be negative. I don't want it to, I don't want this to be a negative. I guess I, I guess I kind of am ranting, but <laughs> it sucks. I hate this. It's just such a it's such a it's such a depressing situation. Same with Bowman. Like Bowman should not be out from a tap like that from the wall. I mean, that's just pathetic. I don't know why my car is like has like hydraulics. Do you see that? I don't know why my driver doesn't have a face. Like they had a model of his face in in the game before. I don't know. So um, we're gonna be starting last. It's a last to first challenge. Just let me know when the race starts if the uh, audio is. Uh, I guess I can just you know do some. Pace cars off. Coming to green. Track here just to see if the audio is alright. I think it should be okay. This is what it was set to last week. Vegas is a fun track in this game, kind of like usual. Um, to be fair, I feel like they nerfed the AI a little bit here, because before they were like really, really, really tough. So, I they must have done that a little bit. I mean, as you see, the pull times are 30.5. Usually they can get like 30.2s or 3s, so I think they nerfed them a couple of tenths. If I, if I had to guess. This one counts. So obviously we're not qualifying, so I want to make sure the audio is already. Right. Like I'm not gonna actually throw the proper lap time down. Yeah, I don't know why the wheels are blue. That's just doesn't. I, it's one of those things I hope can get past because that just looks stupid. So I don't know. Um, he's being extra safe and having the helmet on. <laughs> you know, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> that that would explain some things. that down just a little bit there we go that might be better i mean i guess i could just watch the replay of my stream to figure that out you know that's a good point so i they must have i'll lower that just a little bit more there we go 
hopefully the audio, my my uh, microphone audio is good. I don't have my air conditioner on, so it's just like, you know, it's just, just perfect. I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna get into the race. I know I wasted way too much time already. Usually. Doing it for Kurt. Got some kind of monster energy drink here. I wish I wish he ran more like different monster energy like colored sponsors, like different like the, the monster energy logo but with different colors for like the different flavors. I feel like that would have been like that that was such a missed opportunity. I don't know. But we're starting 39th. We're uh, Chris, uh, Chris Bell leading. Christopher Bell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Look at look at that. Timmy, Timmy Hill is prepared for this race. You see that? Oh my god. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alrighty, well. It's uh it's gonna be a it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, a, a race. Green flags out. We're underway. Already just absolutely getting a launch off the start. 80 laps in stage one, 60 in the fuel, so one pit stopper for here. Still there. But either way, I mean, it's going to look pretty easy for this when we get through the back part of the field. I'm sorry, oh. what if as my weekend has been horrible too? I'm sorry I'm a curse and bad luck. Blew it pensive face loudly crying crying if you lose, blame me. I'm sad for Suarez and Bush. Well, thank you, Golf Kid, for the four ninety nine super chat. I appreciate that. Um, you're not a curse or a bad luck to me. I don't know what you're saying. You're you're fine. If you lose, bl I'm not gonna blame you if I if I lose. I do feel bad for Suarez. He he just got completely. Yeah, he got completely screwed. He got completely screwed by. It. The car it's really it's just it's it's unfortunate that you know a driver can just be completely just you know just ruined from around because of something out of their control it's almost like as if the playoff format bad and, and stupid Still there. Outside. Yeah, first laps in the books already gained about nine spots or eight spots these first couple of positions shouldn't be all too bad to make up it's just it's right when we get about halfway through the field Careful. is when it Top 15 as it starts to get to uh, be a little bit harder. All clear, no pressure from behind. What's weird in this game, I don't know why. It, it was like this in Ignition Still 2, there. but you see like on the, the bottom right, or the bottom left of the screen. Like with the car, you know, with the track inside, map, it has Kurtz like 45, but it has like the the green outline, which is usually for like his you know black monster stay engine high, car. So I don't know why it's not yeah, in this game. It's, it's, I think it's the same with the ignition in the menus. Look so I wonder why it's like that. I wonder if it's just because Monster pulled the licensing from that at the last second. Which would explain it, but then in ignition, like there's like a little Monster Angel logo on the back, or the bottom right of Kurt's car, so I don't... On the McDonald's one, so I don't understand it. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I wonder what really happened. So, uh, in obviously with this race, I haven't really done the practicing that I needed to do, like I usually do to kind of get a gauge on just what to expect in the race. It's just, it's just, I had a shitty couple of days, and yesterday I was just in no mood to do that. I was in a, a shit mood like the whole day. I was just mad. I was, it was such a wave of emotions. Basically, like my tweet says, it was, I was, it was a whole slew of anger, bottom. sadness. It was just, it was just really, and it was especially, it was really hard to watch him, like, almost break down, saying that he wasn't going to compete next year, full time. Like, that, that high, high. Hurt. like really good clearly, he still Ty wants Gibbs to Ty Gibbs' biggest so fan here. here. Hello, Bailey Carrier. Well, I'm happy to <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Thank you for the 499. I appreciate it. That's badass. 
I really appreciate that. You're an absolute legend. You've been around forever. <laughs> so, thank you for that. I, um... It just hurt. You know, it really fucking hurt to see that. It, it reminded me back in, uh, 2014. Got a car coming high right now. After the, the incident with Kevin Ward, he had like a press conference, he was really, really uh, choked up and emotional, and it just, it reminded me of that, except much different circumstances, but it fucking hurt. It hurt to see that, because clearly, you know, he, this is not the way he wants to go. This is not how I, uh, he wants to end his career, or potentially end his career, this is not, it's just, it's so fucking sad. And this car should not be... It should not have been ready for market in the way that it was. It's just so ch it's such crap. Uh oh. I'll just uh just that oh shit. Hey, day five hunter being a member for eight consecutive months, hell yeah. Thank you for that. Oh my god, Dave, I you're an absolute... Um... <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you get Ignition? On the PC? Are you insane? I mean, it was $20, so I guess that's... that's the, I, I still think that's probably too much for this game, but... you Are you insane? You... I, I don't... You... Are you... Are you... Are you on... On your birthday high... Do you have too much tequilis? Done that a little. Yeah, I can kind of see. I can hear my audio. Uh, lower that a little bit more. Uh, why you modded me? Well, I I don't. I think there I there has to be a reason. Maybe it's because I trust you. Maybe that was the reason. <laughs> At least Kurt accomplished almost everything in the sport he has to offer. have likely left after next season it's possible it's hard to say because it seemed like hamlin was willing to let him race there as long as he wanted so i don't know i have no idea i, I was already kind of fearing like next year would probably be his last but this is not the, the, the ugh, this is not the way i wanted it to go this is this, it's just such horse shit that these cars aren't safe they, they shouldn't be released in the market in the way that they did and who knows how many other injuries or other sorts of stuff that's happened from just complete, just minor incidents. I mean, if that affected Bowman that badly, any any incident with the rear end like that, like that, that it's just such an embarrassment. It's, it's, it's not even like, it's like a, oh, we didn't see this coming thing. It's just like, well, drivers were saying it like a year in advance before these things even came out. Like, the drivers were saying that there was problems. And NASCAR ignore them. It's just like, well, that just sets a horrific precedent that it's just like, wow, that's like as if they just really don't care what they think. And it's like, shouldn't the drivers have some say, whether in terms of like the safety of the fucking cars because they're going to be the ones in it, or you know, what tracks you know need to be done or need to be fixed on, or you know, like their their opinions on how the track drives. I feel like some of it. I feel like it, it should matter. It almost comes off like they don't care about, you know, their opinions. Far high here. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the whole, the the Atlanta getting reconfigured to a mini Daytona without the drivers being informed about it, I feel like that was kind of shitty. Like, ever since then, it made me kind of realize, like, wow, this, you know, some pretty, pretty crappy things going on behind the scenes, maybe. There's a lot of modern stuff. Oh, that would, yeah, that would explain why I do as a mod, because, yeah, there was, the, the porn bots were extra horny that day and really wanted to, oh, oh, oh my god, 69, 69 laps in the stage. Oh, isn't that adorable? Hello, Cole Custer. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of stuck here in 15th now. <laughs> it's kind of reached that point. The field's not as spread out as you would think. I mean, it's it's a little bit, but up at the front, I mean, it's still all pretty close. Now, if I remember from the spring race that I did here earlier in, like, you know, Heat 5 on PC, AI were 
definitely spread out. I remember the leader, I mean, I remember Hamlin being on fire, just being an absolute, just a complete, like, just like, in, in, unstoppable force of nature with his speed. But look at Eric Almirola just casually leading. What, like, what is this? Hey, hello, Devin Clark. Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for stopping by, tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're kicking... Almost hit the wall. Hopefully you're kicking Cancer's ass. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm always kind of thinking about you ever since uh, you said that in the, in the chat, so I'm always thinking about you. But, um... Yeah, I don't know when the Heat 5 uh, update is going to come out. I guess it is good that they announced that they're going to delay it. It is the smart move, but at the same time, I'm just like, well... I'm just scared. I don't want Heat 5 to get ruined. <laughs> I don't trust them to mess things up. And if, I mean, the only other interesting thing that could come of it is if the Heat 5 uh, thing gets released for consoles and like PC then that means the modders could theoretically do like a 2022 season with all the paint schemes that would be pretty cool if they do that again because in, uh, for 2021 I mean it was they did so much for it it was, it was absolutely insane later select to be to listen to yeah I don't know, I just I just kind of miss the days when, I don't know, like Bill France, Bill France Jr., like he, you know, there, he wasn't perfect by any means, I feel like they were very, uh, very lackadaisical in just the approach of uh, safety in the late 90s, early 2000s, and just, like, all that, like, that, that whole situation's gross. But I miss that, like, you know, you had, you had, like, like he was such a prominent figure. That was the one you be you can go to and be like, yeah, that's that's you know the the owner of you know that's the the boss man, and you know Earnhardt was kind of that same way where he was such a he casted such a big shadow over everyone, and you know it seemed like you know Dale could really talk to Bill French Jr. about anything, like those two could really like get along, and I was just there was such a big presence. Nowadays, it just doesn't feel outside, it has that same magnitude because it's not really just one person running. It's it's basically a committee committee of people, which I mean, it probably was always like that, but it doesn't feel like there's like a focused identity. I don't know. It's just it's it's weird. It, it you can definitely feel something's not no not the same. I guess that may make sense because it's been so many All years there. since then. But I don't know. It's just interesting. Um, I mean, especially the whole thing with them being so adamant about the 550 package. Like, they, they kept pr trying to praise it and raise it to such a, a high standard when it was just, I mean, it was just basically gaslighting people at that point. Like, they were really trying to, like, make people believe that it was just, this, it was like a good product when it was a complete failure. And the fact that these Gen, you know, 7 cars, at, at, like, the, at like the last second they changed it to 670. Like, these were supposed to be 550, and it's like, well, then that would have been just absolutely atrocious. But wasn't, like, the Atlanta reconfiguration supposed to be for, like, the 550 cars, but it wasn't, so it just created this weird, weird thing. So, I don't know, it's just a whole, whole thing, but... Oh yeah, <laughs> I think I did see something about that, JC. I think it was I think Corey LaJoy, uh, someone was quoting Corey LaJoy about like a NASCAR meeting, and like they were like he he phrased it as like them sobbing over the fact that people drivers were being critical of them. I don't know if that's true. That might be a bit hyperbolic, but yeah, that was kind of funny. It was I don't know. Sometimes I just think, I don't know, man, I just want to go through a week without controversy and a bunch of bullshit. Like, it feels like the last good race was, like, at Kansas. I mean, Talladega was, like, oh, oh, it was okay, but I can't remember much of it. It was just... Yeah. 
last decent race was at Kansas, which, you know, funny enough, wow, it was a mile and a half. It's like the Gen 7 car is like the complete inverse of the Gen 6. It's like almost verbatim, the exact opposite. It's just, it's weird. Pitting. That's weird. I mean, we're right at the halfway in the fuel run. I don't know if anyone actually. I don't know that. Weird. I'm not gonna pit. I don't want to like break the game's pit logic. And hey, we got good track position, so we'll stay out. It's always really cool to kind of look at chat to always see like different discussions and topics and stuff. I feel like it adds a layer to the stream that you know a normal video wouldn't be able to do. So I appreciate it. I don't know what the hell Truex did there. That was just that was weird. But now that we have track position, Kyle Busch did something there. Well, I mean, we might be able to go for the brace lead. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like, something about this track they nerfed. Which, a part of me is okay with, because they were really, really fast to begin with. But I feel like they might have done it a bit too much. Because before, you know, yeah, I was at least able to run, like, maybe just inside the top ten or slightly outside the top ten. Now it's just like, well, now we're about to go for the race lead. We're trying. Chastain's trying. Got one high down. I will say though, this game does look Got so much better than uh, Ultimate Your Edition Plus. Eyes. Very much appreciate that. And it's got a mirror. Like holy shit, what an accomplishment! It took them multiple years, but we got a mirror. Got a car coming inside now. Bowman high. <laughs> um, that's my ass. That that probably gave me a concussion right there, Bowman. That was that was fucked up. I feel like Kirby's gonna retire next year anyway. Still there. Yeah, I mean it's def. I mean it certainly could be possible. Hold your line here. Got one um, with just how the Reddick thing was uh, kind of like uh, turning out because. Still there. Yeah, I, I mean, again, it's all about. I think context. You know, I just, I didn't want it to end this way. I really didn't want like his career to it to wrap up in this type of manner. I'm hoping he can come back. I don't know. It's just, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's just not going to be the same. That's that same feeling anymore. The only good thing I could say is that he said he's not retiring. That's like that's like the best thing to hear because I was really I was gonna be really pissed if he was gonna say that because everything on social media, everything, like, you know, he keeps saying that he's pushing himself, he wants to come back, he keeps saying that over and over again. Then if he were to say like, Oh, I'm I'm just retiring then I would have been fucking pissed because why would you say that and then go back on it? But that was not the case. Because I was really gonna be upset if it was going to be that way. Kind of similar to Dale Jr.'s last season where he announced it mid-season. I think it was like after Richmond or something. But then in you know, the Daytona duels and stuff, he was saying like, you know, he's felt, he's never felt better. He's in, He was feeling amazing and and all that. And then he, like, and then, that, you know, if you think about it, kind of fucked over people, you know, that like lived in Auto Club or other tracks like Atlanta. Or, I don't know, any tracks that had one race a year up to that point that, you know, went to that race not knowing it was Junior's last race and then got screwed. So, like, that kind of probably fucked people over in that regard. So, wasn't really happy with that that situation. Kurtz is obviously way different. I thought he handled it pretty damn well uh, with everything. It just, it hurts. It, it's, it's just really unfortunate that it's, it played out like this. But at least he got a fucking win this year. And it was in a really badass way. And even his last race in New Hampshire... That deserves to be like a video all on its own. Like his last race, 
at least, you know, of his career. Up to this point. Obviously, that could change, but... It was at New Hampshire, and it was one of the most just badass Kurt things ever. He's racing Chase Elliott for the lead on older tires and able to hold him off and really giving him, like, a good, clear, like, clear, clean, like, battle. And it was just really, really badass to see him hold him off for that long. It was really cool. I love that. It was absolutely awesome. He pitted, and he was like on a completely different like pit sequence from the rest of the field. He was able to pit, and he ended up getting a top ten out of that. Like it was, it was that was that was pretty fucking cool. Like that that was that was a uh, un, 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 that was that was a really uh, in hindsight a really cool way to uh, of, of his last race to go out in that type of way where you know he he was fighting for the lead. You know he was. You know, still competitive. I still think. I don't know. It's it's still amazing. It's amazing to me just how long his career has gone on for, how many different teams he's been with, and how he's always been able to elevate the equipment he's in. Like that that that, that one car, Chip Ganassi, Ganassi, Ganassi. Wow, I can't talk. Was not the best of cars. We've seen that with McMurray and what he was able to do. And then Kirk gets in there in 2019. He's able to get a win, and get you know to rack off a lot of good you know results. So, yeah, Kurt made that one car from, like, a C plus or C minus car to, like, a B minus or a B plus. Like, <laughs> it, was, it was insane. And he's always done that with anything he's went with, like with uh, Furniture Row in 2013. This was before they merged or, you know, had the alliance with, uh, with Gibbs. But, you know, we saw, like, Dave Reagan in that car in 2012, and then you see Kurt take it, over, take it over and is actually able to do something with it. Actually was able to get, I think, top 10 in points and run pretty well. Like, was always able to elevate his, you know, the, the team. And it just kind of goes to show, you know, the, the, the level of talent he had. And it's, it's amazing. Easily, easily a Hall of Famer, without a doubt. Even though I still think, as much as I, uh, it's cool from fanboy perspective that, you know, he was able to get a championship, but it still kind of bugs me that I don't, I don't really think he was the best one that year. He really should have been to Gordon. I think Kurt was probably top five in points, if I remember correctly. But even if that championship, if he, even if he didn't get it, he still would have had an absolutely just, you know, fantastic career. And I don't know what his season would have been like had he kept racing. Um, probably would have been either slightly better or worse than last year. Um, probably would have made it to the round of eight because, I mean, Bubba was able to win at Kansas in the 45. That looked, I mean, the car performed about like the same as Kurt's did. So I wonder if they just brought the same chassis over. So it, it does make me to believe that he would have somehow cheesed his way into like the round of 12 and maybe, I, he definitely would have made it past the first two rounds. I feel like that would have been a safe bet. Considering what Bubba was able to, you know, to do in that, in that 45, I feel like Kirk would probably would have, I don't know if he would have done the same, but yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely wild to think just the length of his career and he was able to still be competitive. I don't think he would have, you know, I think he was always like a solid 10th to 15th place driver in those last couple of years and just, I don't know, it's just amazing. Like, it, it's, it, it, you know, it, it's just, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> sorry, Chastain. I'm so happy. He's one of the few drivers ever to, to redeem themselves from all the crazy shit that happened to them in their career. Because there was a period of time for a, for a while, probably from like, you know, when he started to about 2012, where I hated him. I really, really hated him. But, you know, his career kind of got torpedoed, and he pretty much had to restart. And he had to work his way back up into a, you know, top-quality ride with, you know, Stuart Haas. And, and really had to earn it. And I think that whole search, that, that whole circumstance humbled him. And it's not just like a a feeling where, you know, it's, it's bullshit or it was manufactured, like... Or it's not sincere. Like I do think it genuinely, sincerely humbled them and changed them and made them into a much better person. I mean, there's been instances, even if you look at like Richmond 2013 with him and Tony Stewart, like the way he carried himself during like that contract, like that little like scuffle, 
Like, he handled that way better. Better than I've ever seen him handle any sort of type of, like, situation. Uh, same thing with, uh, in 2014 when I went to Martinsville when that ESPN guy was trying to, like, bait him into, like, him trying to bait him into saying something, like, controversial or something. Like, and he just, he wasn't having any of it. Like, you could definitely tell, like, whatever, whatever he did, whether he, you know, got went to a therapist or is taking some different medication or I don't know what but something definitely changed with them and it made him into a better person to see him be humbled and change that much I thought was really inspiring and it made me kind of realize that hey even the even the most despised I don't know if it was my most despised but definitely one of my the, like just the least liked people turned into one of my favorites and it was such a redemption arc of the ages and I feel like I feel like a movie should be based around Kurt's career. In the same way that, like, Days of Thunder, like, uh, Cole Trickle's, like, character was based on Tim Richmond and, and everything. I, I mean, it, it could be, like, it really could be some kind of movie. I mean, it's it's insane. Um, I, I watched the Outlaw documentary. This was being aired, I think it was made uh, late in 2012. So it was right when he got announced that uh, he's going to the 78th. It's like a 45 minute documentary and there's another yellow wow thanks game everybody's pin as expected um i'm out of my monster energy so i need more of that <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm going on a whole Kurt, like, saga ramblings. But it's just very few drivers I can say that 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 I started to like over the years. And it, it's, it's, it's insane because I, I just, I, if you were to tell me this, like, like, 12 years ago that I would end up like Kurt would be probably one of my favorite drivers. I would say that's absolutely insane. <laughs> so it's surreal to think about. And other than like Dale Jr. or Truex winning, like he's like that that like I I really, really get like, just happy and I start yelling. I'm so it, it it's such a feel good thing to have one, a driver that you like so much win because it almost seems like it never happens to me anymore. <laughs> I don't know. But this is like all fanboy cap like things here. Four tires and fuel pitting. Oh, okay. Recycle out first. So yeah, it's... Pull tight. Coming to green. Go, go, go. I don't know. It's just... It's just... It's, it's crazy to think about. Just the, the things he's went through. And uh, especially in the Outlaw documentary, it kind of gave some more context on the uh, DUI incident that happened to him and, like, what happened. And it was basically basically a BS situation. Uh, the cop pulled him over. He, he passed all the sobriety tests and everything. But they still just... They still, you know, tried to make it seem like he was, you know, intoxicated while driving. And Roush pretty much pulled the plug on him before, like, really anything, like, official came out. And it's just... But then after all that stuff happened, then they gave him a plaque, apologizing for him, and it's like, well, they, the damage is already done. He, he still seemed pretty pissed about the whole situation. But it kind of shed some light on that, because I thought back then, you know, it's just like, oh, wow, that's, you know... I thought, you know, originally, like, Wow, he's driving all drunk. He's he's trying to pull Rob Moroso, except without the, the murder. <laughs> but then it came out that you know it was just a bunch of bullshit. It's just like wow, you know, I feel bad for him. Like you know, he, I may not have liked him at the time, but that situation is really kind of you know shitty and you know scummy. But yeah, I don't know. Just I just I, I'm uh, I can definitely say. Um, 
God, don't hit the wall. I can definitely say I'm working on an every win video for push. It's gonna fucking happen. I was getting all the clips I needed to the other night. I got all of the stuff I needed. Both with my uh, new hard drive I got a couple months ago. Maybe we'll just throw that in there. And get all the stuff I needed. It's gonna... It, I'm going to come out of retirement with the, the Everyone videos. It's going to come back for that. I don't care if I get, like, a copyright strike on the channel. If it's one of those, I, I will fucking take it for Kurt. I, I really hope it doesn't affect the channel. But I, I have to do something for him. Even if it's something as, you know, dumb and random as that. I, I have to. Like, it's just, you know. There's only a few drivers I will make that exception. Like, maybe, like, Dale Jr. or Mark Martin. Um, those are a couple exceptions. Dale Earnhardt was one of them, too. So. Yeah, I... It's just, I have to do... I have to do something. And it sucks because, I mean, really, I mean, I... I didn't... I, I wish I didn't have to get regather, like, footage stuff again, but I, I remember... Uh, when I stopped doing them, I downloaded and saved them all into a flash drive and hid them somewhere. And apparently I hid them so good that I can't find them. One of them was in my, like, underwear drawer. One of my like, USB flash drives. Like, why did past me put them in a freaking underwear drawer? I don't know. But I don't know where, where the file is. It's in some flash drive somewhere in my room that I can't I spent, like, three hours trying to find it. And I just, I haven't been able to find it. So that, that kind of sucks, so... Because really all I could have done is just like, you know, reuse the same stuff I already made before and then just add the couple of ones after like 2015 because that's like the, 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 uh, the last one I got to. So I could have just add the ones from like 2016 onwards, but nope. So it's going to be a complete total remake. Which maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. But... Yeah, so I, I don't know how long that's going to be. It's, I mean, it's going to probably be probably done the same way I did everything before with uh, uh, either showing the last lap of a race or showing a little bit before then to kind of show like you know, the other events that occurred just a lot of different like little things like that or like the green white checkered of a, of a race like you know, obviously Kentucky or um, uh, one of his Atlanta wins in 2009 something like that like I don't know. I, I got an idea I got an idea it's gonna feel weird to work on it though, because it's like I used to do that for a couple years, <laughs> so it's gonna give me like some flashbacks of when I used to work on them. If you look at my Instagram, which I have not really updated that in like years, you can see through some like old posts where um, I was taking screenshots of like you know things I was working on. I think I did one for like I took a screenshot of, like my editing editing board for like <laughs> the Rusty Walls one, like the other hard, like stuff like that. So I know I definitely, uh, I don't know, just Got weird fun, fun facts. Oh, that's adorable. The Bush Bros side by side at their home track. Wow, this game is really, really trying to tug at my heartstrings, but I don't got any emotional attachment to Kyle, so it doesn't really affect me at all. Yeah, it was kind of an epic battle for a lead there as I was just rambling on about stuff, so... Outside, outside. I don't know. It does seem like on the longer runs, we do have a bit of a tire advantage. I don't know when it officially starts to kick in. I mean, we really haven't lapped anyone yet, so... We've had two yells in this stage, which Still is there. interesting, because I think in Heat 5, very rarely do it, does it happen. I can't remember. Yeah, Roush and Notorious for doing stuff like that. Careful, um, it, does, it, it does make me wonder just, like, if Mark got out of Roush sooner and went to right, even someone like, you know, Hendrick. Like, I can imagine him being, like, having, like, a Daryl Waltrip level career where he's going to have, like, 80 wins and stuff because I think Mark was always just way too good for that type of team. He probably could have been, probably would have done better if he went somewhere else, but I don't know. 
just one of those uh, what if scenarios, I think. I don't know if I could say I'm 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 liking Cowboys more, but I do feel bad for him. All the bad luck he's had this season, I, like a lot of it's not even his fault. Like it gets to a point where it just it's no longer funny that he wrecks or you know has an issue that costs him. Like it just it just kind of gets sad, <laughs> and then I start to think like oh maybe Gibbs is you know they're like sabotaging his cars or something. Cause it's weird. It's weird that he has these issues. I don't know. It's something to think about. My tinfoil hat's on strong today with the, all the theories. Eighteen to go in stage one. We're up in this main pack. They're trying. It does seem like on the short runs they definitely got the advantage over me. It's definitely not as egregious as I was fearing it was going to be, where I was just going to pull away, and I, I was, wasn't was really quite sure what to expect. Still there. Yeah, in Slap Shoes videos, Mark, uh, he was mentioning how Mark was, you know, just the, the, just the weird things Rosh would do, like, you know, if there's a problem with the car, they eat, like, the drivers would basically have to do it themselves. At least, at least in the 90s. And they would have to find their own, like, crew chief. It was just weird, just bizarre stuff like that. And then I remember when Mark was saying when he went to Hendrick, he felt like he was at NASA because, you know, there was so many, it was such a, so much, a completely different atmosphere. And they basically had employees specified for, like, ones that are just, you know, there just to adjust the seats or get get that done or had like so much more employees and like different things. You know, if you ever had a problem with something, they would be the ones to do it. Like the drivers wouldn't do it. Like it was such a different atmosphere. Wow, this is interesting. You know, it's cool to get that type of insight. I'm gonna have to up the the non-existent grill tape to the car because I think we can get a bit more out of it. Why is there grill tape in this car? I, in this game, I don't know. These cars don't really do that anymore. I think we can probably up it about another five percent. It still makes me lead to believe that these are just really just a skin of the Gen, uh, Gen 6 cars, but with just an extra gear. I'm assuming that's probably what the case is, because, I mean, uh, they do handle slightly different, but I don't know if it's a crazy amount. Maybe that's why they nerfed the AI a little bit, because there is no, like, custom setup, so if you were to use, like, the normal, like, AI code and difficulty... On like a default setup, you would get free obliterates. Maybe that's why they nerfed them a little bit to like compensate for that. I don't know. It's just interesting things to. Oh, uh, in interesting discussion point. Careful. Just the little like little nuances of the of the game. I do think. Um, I don't know. I guess it's really up to the per it, it really depends on, like, what you want going into this game. Like, if you want to purchase it or wait. Like, if you want to get the game to get, like, the updated cars and, and like, the tracks, sure. But if you want to get, like, you know, uh, if, you're, if you're going into it, like, hoping, you know, if there's, like, a championship mode or, like, the career mode's a lot different, then I don't think it would be for you because career mode's literally, like, key 5 and there's no championship mode. So it just depends on what you are looking for. If you're looking for like a game on the go with the 2022 cars, and that's it, and I guess this would be for you. So, I don't know. That was a... Pretty good pass, ba pass for the lead. The Xfinity race yesterday was really good, by the way. I was really going to be depressed at Gregson one because I was really not in the mood to deal with uh, an absolute uh, 
horrible person win another race that just meant nothing. And I just, I was not, I was not having it. But luckily it didn't happen, so that was, that was glorious. And, yeah, there was, it was, I mean, even if he won, his the race still would have been really good, because, I mean, the screen for, like, pass for the lead, stuff was going on, like, it was, it was, a, it was a very, very solid race. Something, uh, Parker Kligerman tweeted about, it's like, the Xfinity series feels like a very old-school type of series now, because... It's got the, uh, the older bodies, not really older, I guess they are taking like, older bodies. They still got the five log nuts, you still got the door numbers on the, the center of the car. Like, it feels very retro. And I do like the idea that, you know, the Xfinity series is very distinctly different from the Cup series, both in how it drives and just the little things like that. So I do think that that is really good. I hope it stays that way. I do think that adds another, like, you know, nice layer to it. Hell of a valve for a lead, though. I can't really clear Kyle. Got one outside now. Busher fan? Yeah, Busher, I like Busher. I've liked him since when he was racing in the Xfinity Series. I think in 2014, part-time. I'm not sure if it was... But I remember in 2015, I was kind of rooting for him to win the championship because I just thought it was funny. I mean, nah, that was funny, but... I don't know, he just reminds me a lot of Matt Kenseth and just how he drives. Like, he's just, he just just kind of comes out of nowhere. And, you know, he's just... I don't know, he's just, he's just a good dude. And I've always, I've always liked him, so... I'm happy you guys win at Bristol. I'm here. Got one looking up top. Focus forward here. Alright, six to go in the third. I I guess it might be really hard to win because I can't really pull away. I can't really maintain the lead. Hit lap traffic. Interesting developments. I don't know how long it takes for us to actually hit lap traffic. I think it's about the same as as it is like E5. It takes about 25 laps maybe to catch them. Maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. But if Kyle Bush get I mean, if we get lucky, we can get held up by them and really mess up his chances. Hello, Chastain. That was a very Ross Chastain move that he tried to pull here. Crazy how the Fizz has involved since the Heat Series. Yeah. It's definitely much better in how it feels compared to like Dirt Daytona. Like there definitely is like a noticeable difference. Really it's the big biggest differences between like Heat 3 and Heat 4. That that was like the massive the like, biggest massive difference. Also we're going for a lead with three to go. Hey. And to the lead we go. I'd love to win the stage. Terrible physics. Uh, on the road courses, yes. Everywhere else, I think, is pretty alright. This game, I feel like, fixes that a little bit. Except for Coda. For whatever reason, Coda's just really, really b broken with that. Hey, we got, uh, we got a mayonnaise man here in 39th. One car is officially DNF. Two to go in the stage. We'll put him a lap down. Same with Biffle and Cody Ware. That's embarrassing. Biffle, why are you getting your ass beat by Cody Ware? That's just sad. Why isn't Vegas a night race? Well, it's not a night race in real life. Like, it's for this weekend, so that might be why. Oh, Jurex, hello. Kind of, that. that's kind of like spiritual teammates 1-2 right now. Well, Jurex, you get it. You get what I'm trying to say. White flag. Stage 1. Parking on the bottom here. Should be good. Lap traffic absolutely bowling back there, so. Have you seen the Indy Road course yet in this game? I have not uh, actually raced it yet, so I don't really know what that's like yet. 
It wouldn't surprise me if it's not great because, I mean, E5s wasn't really that good either. Off of turn four, a little bit of a blocky do there. And that's stage one in the books, and we'll get it. All right, nice. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah, the rapid, the rapid pausing, like, that was a thing since, like, it was, it, for, like, two games, it was a thing. I think it was like that in Heat 2 as well. I think it finally got fixed in Heat 3. <laughs> was that a night race last year? Yes, it was. We're going to pit, four tires and fuel, up the tape one click. That will commence stage two. But yeah. Um, I think this stage will be 77 laps, I think. I'm going to really start. 82. Oh, that's... Huh. Didn't expect it to be slightly longer. But yeah, we get an absolutely... Dare I say... Monster start. But I think they'll catch back up to me. It seems like they're really good on the short run. I don't know when our car starts to really take off. Maybe it's about halfway through the fuel run. I'm not sure. It's sad this game is better than 21. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely some jank to the game with certain tracks, but overall, in terms of like playability, um, way better. But then again, they're basically just taking what Monster Games already made and just kind of adding a couple things. See if that extra little bit of grill tape does something to the car. I mean, definitely getting a little bit better oil temp. I mean, we should get a little more speed out of this thing now. So we'll see. You know, I went from really hating the look of this car to kind of liking it. I don't know if it's like my copium levels have just reached the point where it's just it's infested my brain to now I've, I've just I've just liked it, but I don't know. It, it has it has it. Maybe it's like a guilty pleasure, or maybe it actually has a lot of weight now, more than before. Oh, that's grass. <laughs> Maybe it has a lot more weight than ever before because this is, I mean, at least as far as we know, Kurt's last win car. So it, it has a lot of kind of significance behind it. And also helps, too, that this is the first time, the last time a 45 car won was like in the 60s. And we can defend, definitively say in the past like 30 years, 40 years since this car has, has, was, that car number has been raised. Uh, it's it. I mean, Kurt definitely b did better in this 45 car than Adam Petty. May not be fair, but he definitely put better performance. <laughs> definitely did better than Adam Petty. <laughs> I don't know why after all these years I still meme on him. I don't know. I think it's just because I do think I do think he was a bit over, uh, uh, not a bit overhyped, majorly overhyped based on his Xfinity career and just his performance in that it was so underwhelming. Then again, I don't recall, I don't think he was ever really in that great equipment, but to, to begin with, so it would have been nice to see what he could have done if he had, like, a proper team. Because even if he was alive, I think he still would have just had performed pretty badly in that 45 car with the, with Petty Enterprise. So I don't think he would have been able to do anything with that car. He might have been able to outperform it slightly. But I, I don't see him like elevating the team because of that. That team was just, it seemed like nobody could really uh, save it. Except for maybe like Jerry Nadu, who was able to kind of pull off a couple of good runs here and there. It was more or less road courses, which were like heavily skilled tracks, so. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, you had it too happen. <laughs> it's. I don't know. I messed up. Steve was, uh, was a potential cup champion. I wouldn't go that far. Definitely, like, a solid top 10 driver. I mean, out to his incident, like, before Darlington in 2001, like, he was about top 10 in points, I think. Looking inside, 
I don't think it would have been a cut. I mean, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. If he didn't have the injuries, I mean, it, it could be possible. I mean, especially in the, you know, in the years coming, like, you know, 2003 and four, like he was still with that team. He probably could have been easily, you know, a top five, top five type driver, or at least top ten. I don't know about Cup Champion. That's like, there's there, there's like a tier difference from, you know, being a top five, top ten driver, then to being like a championship caliber one. top five could be possible, but champion is hard to say. So 73 to go. Cole Custer's up here. I think he started in the back with me, so uh, kind of interesting to see him kind of climb up through the field. And you see, uh, yeah, we had two stage cautions, or two, two, two uh, race yellows in stage one. Then we had the stage yellow, so this tab was technically our third. So we have technically three yellows so far. Still holding on third one. Definitely the performance of the car is, uh, is a lot better with that little bit of uh, grill tape on it. So that definitely elevated it, definitely helped it a good bit. I don't know what this game's going to think. Is the game think Chastain's going to win? I don't know. I mean, that'll be kind of a... Like that'll be like a nuclear bomb into the championship four if Chastain wins this and gets put in. <laughs> I'm just hoping Chase Elliott gets completely boned from the final four. Not because I, I super dislike him or anything, but I just I just want the, the the playoff system to be exposed for being bad again. Because Chase clearly has been the best car year, has had so much. Uh, I mean, he's been the most consistent and just. Definitely more, so deserving of a championship, but if, if to get, for it to get stripped away from him would be pretty funny to just show once more, hey, this playoff system uh, is kind of bullshit. And either get rid of it or go back to the 2004 one where that was at least a little bit more legitimate. Or at least the odds of it being more legitimate was definitely better. The ratio was better. I don't have my notebook full of numbers to like officially confirm that, but... I don't know. I have to, have to find out. Yeah, so far, still maintain the lead. It's weird how the pack separates in this game, at least at this track. Usually, they're way more spread out by now. I know I have the skill range set to narrow, so, like, obviously, difficulty is going to be a little more. But at least base, I mean, I'm using quite literally the same settings from, you know, Heat 5, but then you go to here, and, you know, Heat 5, that, that, I mean, the top five would be a little more spread out. It wouldn't be, like, this big group of cars all together like this. That much, I'm positive it was not like that in Heat 5. After, like, a 15-lap run, you know, it would definitely not be looking like that behind me. Drifts tried to do something there. That was adorable. I don't know. I am looking forward to Vegas today. I'm just really hoping we don't get more controversies, no team order shenanigans, conspiracies, like no heart failure. I just, I'm so drained of just discussing it talking about it I'm tired of the team orders the roval thing like all that fucking started because of cardboard it, that may or may not have been on the track for the entirety of stage 3 up until the last 5 laps where they realized that and then, like I don't know how legitimate that is or the you know the the crazy shit behind that like if it was this, I mean Hamlin was saying that that it came up at the beginning of like stage three or, be, or the end of stage two and if it was like that the whole time and then they threw it like a yellow with like six to go 
that's gonna look that's pretty fucking bad as a bad look because you know if that was an issue why like it, it, it really just it screams desperation of just like we need this to be wild and exciting and we're gonna make it be that by having you know throwing a yellow with six to go if because if that was on track the whole time waited till six to go throw up then yeah that that's pretty bullshit And then it just ensued a bunch of chaos, a bunch of stupid shit. And then we got to, like, it just caused more problems, more controversy. It, like, I don't really, really hear much about playoff stuff. I hear more about the Cole Custer thing, the, that, that ensuing yellow. Inside. Same with the Vegas race. I mean, the, it, despite the Xfinity race being really good, there was still a bullshit yellow where Brandon Jones got sideways, saved it. Pretty much the same exact type of save that Trevor Bain did earlier in stage one. That wasn't yellow, but then all at the end of the race that happens, like, well, that's kind of horseshit. I mean, you literally just erase, erase Gregson's, like, six-second lead. And Grant, I don't like him, but still, like, if he just deserved a win, then he deserved a win. He didn't deserve, you know, the race or the, the entirety of the playoff, like, implications get completely fucked up by an arbitrary yellow. It's just a lot of scummy shit. I'm just, I'm so tired of just the blatant inconsistencies. It looked like Dale Jr. in the booth was getting tired of it too, which was nice to kind of see. At least that little bit of, like, frustration or just, I, I, I appreciate that because I'm so tired of the, the, the TV crew, the broadcast, like, just always trying to, like, excuse shit. So I appreciate that. I, the more, over the years, I mean, I can't like Dale Jr. enough. It just seems like... I don't know. I, I wish he would run NASCAR sometimes because it seemed like he would have a better Still grasp there. on stuff. All by himself here. Three I don't know. Just, I'm rambling. We're still fourth, right up with this main pack. It's about 22 laps. We have not outside. caught lap traffic yet, so. Interesting. Hold your line here. Got one up top. I think in Heat 5 by this point, even though, like, with the, with the mod and stuff, I remember it would take, like, 25, 30 outside, laps. Outside. No, it was 30 laps. It was about, like, 25 laps. So I do think there is some, like, very, very, like, slight differences. But I don't think you're gonna, like, notice them right away. I mean, I kind of notice them because <laughs> I kind of do this for a living to an extent, so <laughs> I kind of know these random, like, slight differences. Just a little bit about halfway on the fuel run. I mean, it's still, I mean, really, really packed up here. It shouldn't be like that. At least not to this extent. Still there. Got a headlight out on here. I don't know why he says it like that. It's, uh I don't think I got Tony, I don't think they, they put Tony Stewart crew chief thing in this game, so we don't got the outside thing anymore. Oh yeah, the Tony Stewart stuff too. I didn't even there. There's that too with him, be, like pretty much being fed up with stuff. So. Yeah, it's it's a it's been a kind of a shit show week with everything, with some of the you know penalty stuff going on, uh, the William Byron shit where he got rescinded the uh, the penalty rescinded, which I still think is stupid. It's not about the fact that he got penalized. It's just the f my biggest issue was. Like, like, it wasn't, I, I don't think really anyone had the issue with, that he got penalized points. It was more the issue of, you know, he got penalized the same level as, like, Ty Gibbs, which Ty Gibbs did so, something so much more egregious than what Byron did. Like, Ty Dillon should have been, like, not Ty Dillon, God, Ty Gibbs should have been, like, parked, had, like, a $200,000, you know, fine or something. And, you know, Byron should have been penalized, you know, the same amount of, like, the points that he, you know, gotten originally. Make it so, like, Ty Gibbs' is, like, penalty is much more severe than Byron's, because Ty Gibbs literally was endangering people's fucking lives with that move. He's moving. But now it's like... Right. It's just, they I mean, it changed the compl complexity of the playoff, because they gave, they took away his points, and then they gave it back. 
Like, that's like a whole other, like, can of worms, which is how stupid that whole scenario was. And it's just, I don't know, it's just not really... I mean, Loris getting kicked out, too, because of just this format. Just doesn't look, doesn't look or feel right that someone that's basically like 16th points like Chase Briscoe gets booted out as the sound. Just doesn't feel right. Hold your line, got one inside. I mean, it's really, really like every year is like that. Every year it's like that to some some degree where you know, it's like, well, this guy got eliminated where he really shouldn't have, and then this guy that was running like 15th in points all year just was able to get a win at the right time. I, I, it's more of just hating the system. I'm not really ever going to, like, hate the drivers for it. It's more of just the system being stupid. Like, Austin Dillon winning Daytona because of, of a complete shit show race that boosts Truex out. That's, that's stupid. No one's going to sit here and say that, like, you know, Austin Dillon deserved that more than Truex. Because Austin Dillon won in a race where the rain literally destroyed the entire field, and he was just fortunate enough to get through the wreck by pure luck. Like he won by, by. There's, and it's like it's even if even if people like the playoffs, it's like well, the ratings aren't doing it. It's not. It's not working. I mean, part of that could be just because it's on USA Network, and it's not going to bring the same level of eyes as like it being on NBC. But still, it's it's. I mean, even pr uh, prior. You know, Previous years, it just it, the ratings keep going down. Like the like the playoffs just clearly aren't working to garner uh, like an audience. I wish they would make some kind of change. I mean, I would I would be so much more okay with a ten race format. Ten, just go back to the OG chase format, make it simple, make it stupid simple. Top ten drivers make it in. That's it. That's all you gotta do. None of this win you're in shit. Get rid of that. That's stupid. In my perfect universe, it would be like... <laughs> it always goes into a tangent of, like, what I would do to the sport. <laughs> I don't know why it always devolves into that. But yeah, as far as this race is concerned, I mean, we're holding on to the lead pretty well. We're doing pretty good. I mean, we're not really pulling away, though. Chastain's trying again. I do wonder who's going to leave the most laps, though, because I, I feel like it's going to be close between me and someone else. I don't know who. We're already 33 laps in. I mean, it's crazy how long it's taken for us to hit lap traffic. I mean, we got by that like group of cars back there. But that was really it. Hello, Truex. Truex always keeps finding his way back up to the front. He loses second place, but he always keeps finding it somehow. I wonder if we can actually make the high lane work. Or the middle lane, I guess. I mean, we're keeping even with him. I don't know, it's, it's something. Uh, I mean, maybe uh, lap traffic can play a factor and mess things up. No, it's kind of neat. I'm able to kind of put up a fight up here on the high side. Still somehow led that lap. That was kind of badass. Oh, are we, we going to lose it? Oh, the side draft. That oh, might have slowed him down. All right. This, that, that's pretty hot. Not going to lie. That was pretty cool. See, this is, like, way better than the roll thing. There's a little bit of problems here and there with like how the AI are spreading out, but like this is so much better. It's like it's like a it's like a race. Sorry, Bowman. It's like an actual race with things happening and stuff, and not just yellows every lap. You got lap traffic though, so that's gonna that's gonna be another caveat to this race. I don't know what tricks is gonna do to get around it. He's going to choose to do nothing. And there, oh my god, that's going to be three wide for the lead. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, that's almost... That was close. 
All right, Landon Castle, get out. Move. Thank you. Got one high now. All the way to the wall. Go up high. Ugh, I was going to try to go up to the high side of Todd Gillen, but that didn't work. And there goes Drex. God damn it. <sighs> that sucks. Got one looking low. Well, clear up lost the lead. I mean, that, that should have been like a for sure fire, like easy lead there, but I just, I threw it away. That was stupid. We do got more lap traffic. Ross Chastain, I don't know what that was. You see that? That was really, really stupid. Now there goes Almirola for the race lead. That Chase Brisk about to go lap down. <laughs> Damn, this game did him dirty right in this race. 33rd? He's running worse than. Still there. Uh, well, Timmy Hill, you know what? To be fair, Timmy Hill is on fire this weekend. He is in 31st. That's Ryan Priest. Never mind. Pretty sure Dylan also tried it. I think he did. It looked like it. Which makes it even more pathetic. It's amazing. Ty Dillon. Oh, God. Austin Dillon has backed into so many, like, Mickey wins. It's incredible. Oh, boy. Now we just gotta try to find our way around Shrex again. He's being very, very stubborn. Gonna get by Almirola here, get up to second. I don't think I really had any other like AI drivers wanting to try to push me. I don't think I've actually came across that at all this race. So that's another interesting element to this race that I never really even thought about until just now. Dylan dumping Cinder was bad. It was stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. Fifteen laps in the fuel, and the tires are definitely wearing. But I think we'll be able to make it to the end on, on fuel. Before the tires blow out, that's what I'm trying to say. I had a really difficult time trying to say that. Let's take a look at this top five again. Yeah. I mean, the field's definitely thinned out a lot more than what it was doing before. I expected it to be kind of the same. It's like water, black ice on the bottom of the track in turn three and four. Is there? <laughs> I never even, I, I, I didn't pay attention. Oh yeah, it does kind of look like something like. That. Yeah, I can, I, I, I kind of see what you mean. Though. Also, I don't know if this game also has like day-night transitions in between the stages, because I think it's just it's been the same look from stage one to stage two. So I don't know. It's like as if this game is just Ultimate Edition Plus, but less. don't know it. It definitely feels like that with, with certain things like no championship mode, the way the crew mode is, and um, even down to the stages, like, Far high here. Here. I don't know. It's it's weird. But you know, we got a mirror, and that, that, is, that is very good. All the way up. Oh, get up, get up. I, I know. I don't know why it's like that. I don't think it was like that in Ultimate Edition Plus. I don't know why it's, like, literally rendering in front of me. That's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Like I know, I know the switch can be limited on, on power, but I, I I can't imagine it's gonna have like pop ups like like ten feet in front of me. Like that's worse than PS One shit. Like PS One had that, but it wasn't. It didn't feel like it was to that magnitude. So I don't. It, that is it is really bizarre. It messes with my eyes a little bit. There goes Chastain trying to pass me. We got more lap cars here. That might be might get held up by them. 
Michael McDowell and Harrison Byrne up there in front of me. Oh, oh, look at oh, look at Chastain. Oh, now he's gonna get held up by Harrison Burton. Oh no, never mind. Shrex sure will. Oh, oh, don't oh, Suarez. Damn, he just sent it in there. Hell yes, Suarez. Justin gets by those two in the problem. I was going to try to get to the bomb lane. That, did, that didn't work at all. And now I'm the one that's getting boned by lap traffic. What is the... What a plot twist. God damn it, Harrison Burton, make up your mind. What are you going to do? Oh, come on. We were going to have a freaking green flag pit stop there. That's crazy how many little, like, Eric Jones 27th. Damn, Timmy Hill is 22nd. Holy shit. He is outrunning Denny Ham. <laughs> Denny Ham was getting outrun <laughs> by freaking Timmy Hill. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, four tires and fuel. We're pinned. I think with this we can make it to the end on uh, fuel. Yeah, it's gonna be 32 to go. Get a good launch on the start. Oh, didn't mean to hit Suarez there. I don't know why he backed off, but that was pretty, pretty wimpy of him. It still feels really weird to shift in the fifth. I still can't get used to it. Looks like Chastain's giving me uh, the bottom lane. Yes, he is. He's doing the, that, that Heat 5 AI thing, so that's also good. Wish I could have got to lead a little bit sooner to kind of build up a little bit of that gap, but, you know, it's okay. Oh, we did lead that lap. Interesting. All right. I'm going to try to park it on the bottom here. I have to kind of get used to the car having grip, and I just completely botched the shit out of that corner. <laughs> Where is Kyle going to go? Oh, he stayed at the inside line. Ooh, look at him. Oh, yeah, that's... I, I was thinking about that, too. Yeah, JC can't do his uh, championship mode on Rivals because there isn't one. Like, the game literally just sabotaged JC, JC's channel with no uh, championship mode. That's kind of funny. Well, I guess the secret behind that is... I told them to not put championship mode in because I told I, I specifically told them, hey, I want that I want I want it to sabotage JC. So that was that was the reason why it's not in there. So I'm sorry to everyone that wanted championship mode, but I wanted to just not have it in there just to spite them. For really no reason at all. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh god, I couldn't keep that with a straight face. Oh, the Bush Bros won too. That's adorable. The game is really trying to have that, like... It's trying to make me feel something for it, but I'm not. I'm not having it. <laughs> yeah, the crew chief doesn't know what what race we're doing. He doesn't know what stage it is or what's going on. Like, he's just very unaware. Also, I forgot to even show, or I forgot to even uh, explain that in the, in the race, um, I have it to like a 7 on the, the slider. It definitely doesn't feel loose, like like a 7 slider probably would sh like should be here. So I don't know if they messed with some of the default sliders or something, because it, it shouldn't be feeling like this. It's actually, I mean, it feels fine. But even on a long run, like, I don't know, it definitely doesn't... Like, if this was, like, key 5, I probably would have it to, like, a 6, maybe. I don't know. Something to note. Uh oh. I could have got Block Truex there. 
We got Joe Gibbs like satellite cars and, and teams like one, two, and three. Do we have a one, two, three, four? No, we don't. So it's basically Gibbs cars in the top five. Well, first through third, and then fourth and fifth are Stuart Haas. Well, then again, Hendrick. Nope, now I went to Stuart Haas. Okay. Kind of, I don't think I've seen any like different faces up here. It's been kind of the same like group of eight, <laughs> maybe. Got one on the oh, okay, that could have been that could have been really bad. Ooh, I was gonna say a nice crossover, but they went hit him. So that didn't look as badass as I was really wanting it to be. This lap? I think so. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, right. It up against that. That's. You know what's weird? I always do that. Sometimes I do that a lot. Uh, not a lot, but I do that sometimes. Where I'm like, I, if I'm bored in the race, not that I'm bored in this one because uh, it's been pretty good, but. <laughs> Um, I, I go to this camera angle just to see how close I can get my tires to hitting, like, the banking. I don't know why I do that. I just find it interesting. It, it kind of freaks me out because I guess it just shows how comfortable I am with the game. To just do that and just not be, like, afraid. Now, if this was, like, World of Outlaws, like, dirt racing, I would, I would be terrified to even think about doing something like that. Because that game constantly puts you on edge. It's so, it's so tricky. It's it's such a fun game. It's it's insane. I did not expect to enjoy the game as much as I have. I really didn't expect to cover much of the game. Um, I got just to maybe do a couple of videos, maybe just the championship mode for like the official like licensed tracks, and maybe that's it. But the demand and like the views and the likes, the comments, like it was so much more than I ever really anticipated with that series. So I kind of just had to do a career mode, and the career mode's really fun. Um, it's kind of similar to the SRX game. I don't know if there's anything majorly different, but it's it's fun. It's going to be a long career mode if I actually do, like, the whole thing. But it's definitely going to be a fun one. The Rivals one, I have, I have no idea how that's going to play out. What's crazy, too, in terms of, like, views, the, the World of Outlaws one does better than the Rivals one, which is even more baffling, because this channel is primarily NASCAR. You would think it would be the other way around. I mean, it's, it's pretty damn cool. It's nice to see that, because the game is definitely deserving of the, the attention, but it's just... I don't know. This is pretty cool to me. So now we got a different face up here. I have not talked about him at all this race. Tyler Reddick, who's going to be taking over the 45. That breaks my fucking heart. Don't really like Reddick. Haven't liked him. I was starting to appreciate him, but then the whole RCR situation where he... Uh, ceased their contract in a way where he Got didn't let them know. Right it was just very underhanded, very scummy tactic. And then, um, yeah, was not a fan of how that all okay, played out. Also, another thing that made me really concerned about, like, if the curse is going to come back, is because the the fact that Dale Jr. didn't want to start a, a team in the Cup Series because he didn't really see like there would be like uh, an in, like a, a real like uh, investment of return, like the return of in investment. Oh my God, I can't even talk. The oh my God, I can't I can't even freaking try to phrase it. He didn't think there would be like like a positive outcome of it. Like, he didn't think it would be, like, a, a net gain for him to to do that. And if Dale Jr. is saying that, one of the most, like, profitable, like, drivers in terms of merch and everything, like, ever, who really probably has the most money out of anyone ever, <laughs> is saying that, then I can't, like, even if Kerr wanted to come back full-time in a third car, they would have to buy a charter. That's, like, $30 million. I can't imagine 
23 XI would be able to do that, even though they do have Michael Jordan, which I, I think that would probably be a, a big, big possibility. So I don't know. I just I also kind of was fearing that it, it may not happen. I was just I was just dreading it. I was dreading the news because I was just fearing like I, I was coping so hard. I was hoping like something. People are making comparisons to the Michael Jordan like announcement where he basically had like this whole press conference just to say that he was back. And people are thinking like that's what Kurt's gonna do. And I was just like, oh my god, can you imagine? That would be like the ultimate troll of trolls to have that happen. <laughs> but it didn't play out like that. But people were speculating different things that was interesting to look at. I was trying to be kind of rational about it, but that fanboy cap, it keeps coming back on. I mean, it keep it, like the copium was so so strong. I was just I was so I was so anxious, it was hard to sleep. Damn, look at Chastain on a high side. He made it three wide. <laughs> what a badass. It didn't work for him, but he I mean he tried to do something different. Yeah, these are all about the same top 10, top 8 familiar, like, I don't really see anyone different up here. I wish we had a green flag pit stop. That's the only thing I regret. Hello, boom. Oh, we got, oh, oh, we cleared him. Didn't expect that. Go in stage two. Still kind of maintaining the lead as usual. I don't know. Last stage. I mean, it could get interesting. I mean, man, if it if it just went green, if it goes green, and we have a green flag pit stop, I wonder if that's going to affect us at all. Like, if it's going to make us lose time, will it not? I don't know. It would be nice just to have that. That, that little bit of uncertainty. But so far, it's just like, you know, we're just running up at the front. The furthest we fell back after we got to the front was like 7th. He's trying. He's, he's definitely he's definitely trying his his hardest, but it's not enough. I'm getting better at racing the track. I'm hitting the bottom more often than not, so there shouldn't be too much of an issue anymore. Hey, hello, Corey Fred. Thanks for uh, stopping by, tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, this race has been pretty good. Uh, it's not been on the same shit show tier as the Roval, which is always very good with the with how that played out last week. So I'm I'm quite happy about it. I don't know what this says about the race. Like, who's going to predict the winner? Is it going to think that Kyle Busch is going to win? No, Gregson in that 48 because Bowman's not in it. So I'm assuming I don't know. I mean, the game, I mean, so far in doing this, like, you know, simulating stuff, we will, it's, it's only been t right twice. And the last time it was correct... Jesus Christ, maybe the Coke 600? <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time. I mean, it predicted William Byron winning at Atlanta, or the first Atlanta. Then it predicted Hamlin winning at the Coke 600, which did actually happen. So it's been about five months since it's been correct. Not including me winning the race. Like, I'm not, I'm not factoring that in.
<laughs> Kyle, I appreciate the effort. You're trying. You're trying your best, but it's, it's not it's not going to work. I'm not going to give up the bomb lane that freaking easily. Maybe if I do that, then that might help, but <laughs> don't want to do that. I don't want to keep doing that. Hello, Cole Custer. Been a while since I saw you up in the second position. Also, wild fun fact, he is, his last top five was at Kentucky in 2020 when he won the race. That would be pretty damn funny. I mean, it's, it's just funny. It's just funny. I mean, talk about underperforming in that 41 car. I mean, god damn. I mean, he's like... He's almost racking up the same amount of top tens Danica did at Stuart Haas in her tenure. Even though I think he's, he definitely is a bit better than Danica, but it's just funny how that kind of played out. Yeah, he's, I mean, I mean, obviously compared to Curtis, nowhere close. I don't know about Suarez. I don't know what he did in 2019 when he raced there. I have to imagine he got more than, like, two or three top tens in the season. Oh, oh, damn. All right, uh, you know, he listened to me. I mean, he, I mean, that was, that was very untruex like I'll say that much because that's not how Truex usually races, but damn, he really wanted that stage win. I don't know what he was trying to show, show off to me. Now we got to try to get that back. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely reply to chat here after the stage ends because high, there's actually a lot of good top, uh, talking points there that, that have been brought up. I want to try to beat Truex here because he he did me dirty and I, I don't like it. Lap traffic might here screw him over. Right he's going to get a good run here. He's going to give me the bomb lane. I'll look at him giving me the bomb. He's, he's, he knows. He knows he did something fucked up. He's, he's going to give me all the room. I, I see it. I see what you're trying to do. I see the mind games trying to play there. Lap traffic will bone him to some capacity. At least I hope so. Oh no, it's Cody Lay. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're just gonna go way down here. White flag for stage number two. And Shrek's gonna get held up by the, the mayonnaise man. No, he's not. Urgh, I was trying to slide up. I couldn't. Alright. All right, we'll get through them all. All right, clear down here. Got a gap. All right, through the last right, corner. Uh, no. All right, GG Truex. I remember what you did to me, though. That's, that was pretty fucked up. I remember. I'm not going to forget. I'm not going to forget what you did to me. So, that's our top ten. I mean, the only other person we haven't seen up here is, I guess, Chase Elliott and Ryan Blaney, because I haven't seen them up behind me enough, but... So I guess it's, like, the top nine all in, like, a big wad. So we're going to pit here. Uh, I don't... The freaking pit... Do you see that? What does Qualify have to do with anything? I see the 102 laps, like, barely. Why is it, like, faded? Why is the S lap... Why, it's so, like... How do you... Ugh. All right, I'm going to look at chat here. Uh, would be poetic if Kyle won after Curtis. Oh my god. Okay. I don't like Kyle. I would like Kyle to win. Just for that. I would be okay with this. I kind of need this now. Day 500, you brought up a good point. Oh my god, I can't. It's too hard. I've been trying to kill Chase at Phoenix for 10 minutes. But Big said no. <laughs> I remember Winfeld tried doing that to Hamlin in Heat 5, and he I couldn't do it. It was I remember that. On uh, a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate Wano of One Piece? Um, The anime, if you're watching like the anime, I would probably say like a, like an 8. 8, out, eight, or, eight or 9 out of 10. The mangas might be might be a 7. So the manga has a lot more issues than uh, what the anime is trying to do. The manga is more... Um, it's a lot more bloated and... It establishes like certain plot points, but then it drops it, or at least it seemingly drops it. Maybe it will be explained later. But I will say, Wano is probably one of the most divisive arcs in the series. 
It's either people are going to really love it or really or not like it too much. I will say um, it has some ap epic moments. I do think you need to keep watching. I mean, you're already this far. I gotta, you got to keep going. Uh, the Reverie is a really fantastic arc. Uh, the anime is really padded as shit. <laughs> it's really padded. Like it, uh, like um, it, like there's like one episode where it basically just re uh, goes through like the whole Alabasta arc. Because oh, it VB's there, which isn't which is important. But then they go into like this whole flashback of her. It's like oh, remember her back then? And it does so. It's so much padding. One pace, uh, one pace group. Uh, cut it down to like four or five episodes which makes sense because the manga is like I think it was like nine chapters so yeah did not need to be however many episodes to actually turn out to be but yeah keep watching it's it's good stuff um, if you don't want to watch like the anime you can always watch like the one pace stuff because they uh, basically cut it down a lot so if you want to ever watch like a condensed version of the series that still stays pretty truthful to the manga that's always another option too because the anime can get pretty grueling with like the pacing and stuff so that's always like a good option but de definitely keep watching especially the arc after Wano so far in the manga is like really good so I'm really excited to see where it goes so that that's going to be interesting ah talk for so long my throat's starting to hurt this is why I got my drink on standby. So we're gonna pit. Oh, we gained a spot. Ooh, look at our picker do things. Nobody else gained fun. <laughs> right, fun so work. with this, I right, think it's gonna be a hundred laps to go. Just about right, 99. Around. 99 laps to go. So slightly longer than stage one and two. It will be a one pit stopper for me. If it goes green holy, which I highly doubt because that just hasn't been the trend. But we got uh, got off to a good start there. Car feels good. I just it just depends on when that yellow comes out. If it's gonna be like a short run. If this, if this is like a hypothetical green white checkered. I think we'll be fine just based on how that start played out. But if it's like five laps to go, it might, might be a bit of a problem because it seems like they do or they, they do get pretty quick in the, in the, as the run goes on, or at least in the short run. But as you saw, I mean, we almost did an entire green flag run, and they, they really, I really couldn't pull away. So I, I don't know. I was a little bit hesitant on just like what exactly to do with uh, the settings because I remember when I did the settings. Oh shit! <laughs> oh crap! Scott McNew dropping a twenty bomb on me. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. That, that's so awesome. I, that means a lot. Just tuning in. Hope your race is going good. Very disheartening that Kurt wasn't able to end his full-time career on his own terms. My big three is now down to one. Emo, this makes the next-gen safety issue a lot worse now. I agree. I agree, Scott. It's... Oh, man, it... I... <laughs> uh, if you, you go... I think I talked a lot about it in stage one. I went on, like, a whole tangent. As I think once I got around to, like, 15th position, then I went on, like, this, like... I don't know how long of a tangent. Maybe a 20-minute tangent. Not, not like not tangent in like the sense of like I was just talking about Kurt, his career, everything, just how I was feeling about the situation in stage one. It, it, it got it got deep. Like I, I I think I inadvertently like said my my I I, I vented out my heart <laughs> during that 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 span. It it sucks. The whole situation sucks. I mean, even in his announcement when he was saying that he was not going to race full time. Like, I mean, he was almost on the verge of, like, tears. He was choking up. I mean, it's it was really hard to watch just because clearly this is something he does, did, didn't want to happen. He doesn't want to end his career like this. 
even if there was a possibility that you know he was going to retire maybe next year, this is not the way he wanted to, wanted it to go. Um, it's it's really sad, and, and the fact that the, all this happened because I don't know where it began. I mean, as far as I know, from just doing a little bit of research um, prior to the Gen Seven cars, there's never really been an incident where it's like you know he had any prior concussions. Nothing I've ever really heard of or. or known about well would out but definitely seems like the gen 7 car has kind of made the situation a lot worse and I don't know it's just really depressing it, it's just such an unfortunate situation um, it's even more egregious with Alex Bowman because literally he just his butt tapped the wall and that that fucked him up that that that's really like that's even more egregious. I think most people were already kind of concerned with the incident to begin with, but people were trying to. But there was definitely a, like like a small percentage that were like rationalizing it as well. You know, he is a veteran; he's been around a long time. It is it it is within the realm of possibility that just things caught up to him finally. There was that, but then with Bowman, there's there's really no defending him. There was no defending that because, like, you know, that that's a person that's in the prime of their career with a, such a minuscule tap. Then I think that's when it's like, wow. So I, yeah, it's just, and even the Pokemon, like, that that shouldn't have been, like, a, nearly a career-ending crash. Like, that was not a horrific incident. That was just a very standard type of, it, it, just, it shouldn't have been that bad, but these cars just aren't as safe as they should be. And I don't know, the whole situation is really depressing. Outside, um, outside. That's why I'm racing as Kurt, racing in this 45. Trying to get a dub for him in his hometown track that he did end up winning here in 2020. And now it's almost like I'm like spiritually racing against the 41 when Kurt was there at Stuart Haas, so it's just like there's so much parallels. Then the one car, Kurt was in the one car. Oh my god, the parallels. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just a throwback of all the Kurt numbers. That's just... It's, it's just too much. Too much. I, it's just too much for me to handle. <laughs> JC, you finally realize that there's... <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Still there. Yeah, that's just the thing in the game. I, I don't know why it, it even things. shows, like, the Xfinity thing even shows up. I don't know if they ever had plans originally to have Xfinity cars in the game. Or what? Maybe they just didn't get enough of the licensing rights for, like, all the sponsors and stuff. And they just scrapped it and then they just forgot to take that out in the coding. That's always a possibility. But it's weird that that's even there. And considering which is how the, the company's been, just like in shambles after ignition, it wouldn't surprise me if they just dropped it. They dropped those two series just to do cup, and then just yeah, you can kind of see the cracks of like rushing this out to kind of see through with little like weird details like that <laughs> you're gonna guess all of Kurt's numbers uh, 97 22 2 3, 4, 4, Oh god I, I it's hard to think if that's correct, because I'm racing. <laughs> but, I think he got it right. Not in that exact order. The exact order is uh, 97, then the 2, then the 22, then the 51, 78, 41, 1, and 45. That, that should be the uh, correct order. Yeah, that's eight different numbers. 
in his career <laughs> that he's that he's raced under in the Cup Series. If we want to talk about like like the Bush Series, that's a whole other story. And even I don't think I will get it all right because I know it's a 39. Then <laughs> the one for Phoenix. Uh, there might be more. But yeah, what a wild, what what a wild career that he's had. And the fact he's been with so many different teams and still been able to kind of you know deliver and be that good. That's that would be pretty. Pretty damn insane. Look at Suarez trying to do something. That, again, adorable. Oh my god, look at Larson's up here. I don't think I've seen him all race long. So look at him do things. Oh, look at Day 500 here. Hold on. Look at, look at Day 500 over here. Being Mr. Statman. <sighs> uh, actually, he ran to that dining and truck series first. You remember that, boys? Mr. Frickin' Dexter over here, trying to show off his little, like, stat book. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my glasses on standby just in case Dave Alvarez tries to try to show me up again. Like like imagine if like I'm gonna you know what when you when he when he streams later today, I'm just gonna throw in like random stats and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he like I'm gonna put him on the spot like he's putting me, well he's not really putting me on the spot, but I would have put him on the spot. I'm just gonna say like random obscure things, like you know what was Kurt's average finish. At Phoenix Racing, at the road courses, or you know, his like, where was he running if there were stage points in 2012 at the road courses? Like, what? Well, where was he running at? <laughs> like, really? Like, in, in like the 2017 format of the stages, where like the laps were different, like the lap, like I don't know, like just, Inside. like just, just absolute, just randomness. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like absolute Careful. Still there. Oh man. Uh All clear. All clear. Hello, I'll look Yeah. I'll i to I'll have to get I have to write it down because I don't I don't even think I remember what the hell I just said. <laughs> Dave Popper's uh he streams on Twitch. Uh, he didn't stream last week because of uh like personal stuff going on. I don't want to divulge that. Um, but he should be you know, back to streaming this week on his uh, new Twitch account because it got you know, his old one got taken down. Shockingly, it took a long time for that to actually occur because, I mean, he had this one up for, like, the entirety of the season up until Talladega, so outside, it lasted outside. for quite a long time, which... Might be the, the longest it's lasted whenever he streamed those races, so it's kind of wild. It's crazy to think about. Okay, maybe twenty, maybe in twenty twenty was longer, but there was like a three month gap where there wasn't any racing, so maybe that would be technically longer of a span. I don't know, but it's impressive nonetheless. That's the, that, that's what I'm trying to boil down. Seventy-seven laps to go. The car still handles pretty good. Um, Kyle Larson's up here again. That's about uh, aside from Ryan Blaney, the only other different face that's kind of showed up in this stage. Only lost a count for twenty-four hours. Oh shit! That's good to hear. Hey, that's really good to hear. That's well, that's I'm, well, I'm glad to hear that. So it's still it's still alive. It's still alive. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm happy to hear that. I always look forward to those three. I mean, that's really like the way I watch the races now anymore because I really don't watch like TV. So, that's like, like just the way I watch the races anymore. That's not. Oh, 
Oh, okay. you got it. Okay, I was, I was a little worried because we did hit the apron. Nice little green flag run. Yeah, I don't... It's weird. I don't know why it is... I, I don't know if you're able to kind of notice it is. It's like that micro remote, but... God, I keep hitting the fucking apron. It's hard to kind of know where on earth the apron even is when the white line literally is loading in front of me. So that, that that might be what is messing me up ever so slightly. It's almost like the, as if the white line's important to tell you where the banking is and like the transition and stuff. It's almost like that's important. But when that like just loads in front of you, it just kind of messes you up a little bit. Also, hello, Reddick. I've not seen Kevin Harvey. Actually, you know, Timmy Hill is 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 on fire this weekend. He was out running Denny Hamlin. I don't know if that's still. I don't know if that's still the case. I just almost pulled up in the freaking wall. That would have been really embarrassing. Lap traffic here pretty shortly. And the last time we got to lap traffic took about 30 laps, so and about another three laps, it's gonna probably happen again on lap with, 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 with 60 died to go, which is indeed nice if it doesn't occur when I'm leaving, which may or may not happen. It's hard to tell because Custer is uh, because <laughs> Custer. That's that's a good alliteration right there. Being on stream and I racing, uh, I mean for me it was always really difficult because it just I, I couldn't focus enough. It was just a lot. I I think if you were able to, uh, to stream it, it might might fare out a lot better. Outside by himself, nobody out back I would here. say try it and just kind of see what happens. Yeah, it might work out for you really well, like it won't be an issue. But I definitely, I, I mean, definitely, definitely try it. And see if it works. Uh oh, uh oh, Day Five Hundred's got some Kurt stats ready here. Do I gotta lower my sunglasses? Or my <laughs> sunglasses? Do I gotta lower my glasses here? I got a cosplay as Day 500 here. Right, I'll share it on my stream. Oh, ooh, that's good to know. Well, I'm gonna definitely have to remind you now. Now that you mentioned that. One of the stats is uh, Kurt won at a. Uh, he won at Bristol. I mean, a shit ton. And won the Food City 500 like multiple years in a row. Like from 2000, he won them in 2002, 2003, and 2004. That's pretty wild. He's got a ton of Bristol wins, a bunch of Atlanta wins. Got one up top. Only one restrictor plate, like points win. Which isn't really shocking because, I mean, he's gotten boned out of those so many different Outside, times. The fact that he even has one is a miracle in the Cup Series. Not factoring in like the Daytona duel, Still there. but he's basically won every type of non points event. Like he's won the shootout, he's won the duel, he's won the all star race. So, Stay on the right here. oh god, Mark Cody, where just now. well, there's some uh, front bumper damage there. That's not great. Oh my Hold god. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Cody Ware to be in the way. Oh no, he's done. Cody Ware, don't you dare hold up Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch and Rick Rear, they, they had some beef with lap traffic at this exact track, like in 2019. I remember that. Insurex actually was able to pull away a little bit, so that was a bit concerning, but it's going to the high side, so that's going to probably help us out a little bit. 
God, I hate holding this controller. It is so... After a while, it just... It gets uncomfortable. I really don't like it. How much is that damage gonna... 93 on the air... 93 on the arrow. That's like... World of Outlaws dirt racing levels of, like, damage for that. I don't know, maybe it was a noticeable hit. Still there. I can't really see it. I mean, I'm wearing glasses, so... They're not... They're a little... Little, little fingerprinty. So that's not really, uh... Still there. That's not really working for me too good. I should now. take them back Clear off, because... Back. I'm not really being a nerd with stats, so that's not really... The bit is as concluded. Brian Blaney's up here all of a sudden, so welcome Blaney to the front of the pack. Same with Larson. Got more lap traffic to worry about. Trix is going to go to the super high lane and just screw himself over. And that might get Ryan Blaney at least, so that's going to make day 500 squee a little bit. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ooh, almost hit Custer. Drop him back. I think that damage is definitely affecting us. They're, they're really not being nice to me anymore. Chase Briscoe's 36th. Oh my god, he's getting outrun by BJ McLeod. <laughs> that's funny. Alright. Alright, Gabe, you got it. That's a good laugh. It's a little bit fucked up, but that's pretty funny. Ryan Blaney just took the lead. Uh-oh, that's a 20th different winner. That's Dave, Dave Fibers going to start going bananas for that. The 20th different league winner. <laughs> why is he? I don't know why. He doesn't sound like that at all. <laughs> why am I? I can't wait for like a caution. Because wow, I'm losing spots. This car is definitely affected by that damage. I didn't think that. I mean, it is 7%. It definitely is slightly affect the performance. All because of Cody Ware's bitch ass. You got a couple more lap traffic. I mean, we definitely got a big wad of lap traffic. <laughs> That's heading into turn three. That should affect some stuff. Outside. Can you imagine a 20th different winner this season? Oh my god. Still there. That's gonna free. That's gonna. <laughs> That's gonna be wild. That's gonna be a, a record breaker. Yeah, I can feel it. It's, it definitely is a lot tighter now. We only got to deal with this for another 17 laps, and then we go and we'll pit. It definitely, I could definitely feel it because up to this point in the race, you know, we have not really dropped back at all. Definitely not back that to eight, so that damage is definitely affecting us. You see, I don't know what you're talking about with pizza, but that just... Oh, no, don't you dare. Don't... It started. Don't... You got me fired up. You got me fired up with food takes here. Here we go. Uh, Cheesy, melty, hot pizza with savory pepper. Oh, wait. I actually like that. It actually sounds good. Never mind. I was gonna... I was about to disagree. I was, I was already ready to, like, disagree. <laughs> Never mind. Dark Crypto, thanks for stopping by in the stream, tuning in. I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you going to be him for Halloween with those glasses? <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think I will. I mean, I have to, because I think, um, well, you recently, like, shaved your head, so I, I would have to do that, and I don't know if I want to go that far. I mean that would be like a hardcore like cosplay to alter my 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 body temporarily. Fucking what if there's a green for the helmet? No, I was I thought like 
I, well, because my, my, my like, my, the things I like with food are so limited. I just, I just already, like, the ratio of the things you, you ask me questions on and the things I don't like or haven't tried is so extremely, extremely high that I just betted on just it, it being like, I don't know, just... It was like a 95% chance that it was gonna be something I would disagree with, but that that extra 5% was that vibe was was the difference. I don't really know how Cus is leading, but I know why I'm back here. Uh, a, the lap down car of Cody Ware uh, slowed up in front of me, and it costed me about 7% of aero damage, and that has affected my car, so it's a lot tighter now, and that is why I've been dropping back. But we'll be pitting soon, so that should give me some life back in the car. car high here. Careful. Because I know I could, I have a car capable of winning, but this has kind of affected it because of uh, Cody Ware's bitch ass. Still there. Top's clear if you want it. It's definitely, clear. like, because of me, I, I kind of like... It's really spreaded the field out. Before it was like a top nine outside, all kind of under a blanket, now it's really really thinned out in comparison to what it's been like up to this point in the race, so I've like inadvertently made it spread out, I don't know. Hold your line. So we got 10 more laps till we pit. I mean, I would love to short pit, but I don't trust this game bringing out a yellow when I'm a lap down, basically just ruining my entire race, so I have to kind of stay out as long as I can. Can't really afford to take that type of risk. Ryan Priest in 30th. I don't know how many cars left on Lee Lab. I think it's about like 26 or 25 maybe. Oh my god, can you imagine that? Oh my god, Michael Roots being me. I can't even imagine how he would try to impersonate me. That would be so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Would he get like the tinfoil hat? Would he get, will he put like floaties on because I mentioned like uh, floaties, like, NASCAR editions, like, floaties, when you put, like, floaties on and you get, like, a tinfoil hat. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I gotta ask him this in, sh in uh, the next time it live streams. If he can dress up, like, as me for Halloween. What kind of voice would he g give me, though? Oh, man, that's exciting. Oh, is he gonna get, is he gonna get muffins? Well, then again, that's, that's his thing, so... You know what? He'll have to get Arby's. <laughs> He'll have to, like, eat Arby's on stream and be like me with the floaties and the freaking tinfoil hat. Day five. I mean, I could, I could definitely play Day 500. I feel like I would be pretty... I mean, I got the glasses, so I'm, like, already halfway there. You just, you, just, you just spark some freaking content for all of us with that idea. <laughs> oh my god. Kyle Busch is in the lead. Oh my god, if he wins this race in real life, I would actually... I would I would be up for that. I would, I would, I would support this. Look at how uh, low well, your right friend is. Well, I mean, it definitely is a lot tighter than what it was before, so it makes sense that the left... The right front is burnt out a lot more. Looking inside now. Thank God we're gonna be pinned here in a couple laps because this thing is it's hurting. We're lost 3.7 seconds. Damn. you got room, you're all clear. Um, yeah. I mean I think got one eh, we're getting pretty close to our window. I don't know how it's all gonna play out with the uh, my pit stops no because I don't know if we're gonna gain or lose time from it or all at all. I don't I don't really know. One back, looking outside. He's outside. He's outside there by himself. But we'll we'll be fine on tires, so don't gotta worry about that.
think next time by will pit. I don't see any other AI cards pin, but I don't want to take that chance of getting screwed by the, the game for whatever reason, so so I'm gonna stay out next to the lap. And then pit, because then really we really don't have any other choice but to pit next lap, or at least this lap, because you know it's yeah. Because I don't know how the fuel works in this game, like does it run out when you hit one? Does it run out when you hit zero? Sometimes it varies from track to track, so I don't know. So this is really the Heads best up, bet. There's there we got some people pinned finally. All right. All right. Well, as usual, we'll just mess up. We'll give Chastain a spot, but we'll pit here. Slow down. Slow down. Back it down. Back it down. Forty-five. Perfect. Four tires and fuel, three seconds of repair. Well, that explains why the car was so ugh, affected by the damage. That would explain a lot, then. I gotta win this for Kurt, man. I gotta. I gotta. I can't lose this fucking race. Hey, at least no uh, pit shenanigans are going to affect us like what happened at Talladega. Remember that with the William Byron thing? And I, I can't believe that. <laughs> that was that was insane. That's an 18 second stop, though. We're going to lose a lot of time from that. Oh, I don't know. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to bank on like, a, like an in-game yellow to save us. Because I don't think we're going to win this with those green hole way. As much as I would like that to happen... Get a good round of pit road. I mean, yeah. We'll I mean, we'll pass Bowman here, so we definitely gained a little bit throughout all of that. Um, okay, Harvey's leading. So where is this all going to cycle out? Where is this even going to put us? I, I don't. I, I guess that's another interesting question we'll have to figure out. So currently ten. Harvard's still down pit road. Not for position, nope. So, I don't know, I guess I'll have to wait and see. We might be like five or six seconds back because we did have to repair damage, so I'm kind of expecting that to be honest. Kyle Bush is leading. We might fare out a, lot, uh, a little bit better than I think. So we're running about ninth before. It's going to be exactly the same position. <laughs> Dad's exactly the same position. Alright, so... Bad news is we're 8 seconds back from the leader. Good news is our car is fresh. We don't got to pit, it, pit anymore. And we are gaining. So that is also going to be a plus. So I don't know if it's going to be possible to run them down. But damn it, I am going to try. Why the fuck does that happen? Right, Why does that happen? That's the same shit that happened to me in a crew. Why does that fucking happen? I turn, I turn, I turn, and then it just, like, stops registering it. What the fuck is that? Well, I got a pit. My car is fucked. I don't understand that. I, I... I don't understand why it did that. That's the same shit that happened in career mode. Is it the controller? Is it the game? I... I don't under... I, I'm, I'm baffled why that even happened that way. I mean, that fucked up everything. I, re I really wanted to fucking see that play out because I don't know if we could have caught to them, but that would have been awesome just to see that play the fuck out. Oh, that's such fucking horseshit. I'm upset. I'm upset about that circumstance. That shouldn't have, that shouldn't have happened like that. I was just, I was just saying, like, you know, we're gaining on them. Like, I was, 
I was kind of morbidly curious just to see how that was going to unfold. And now this is going to kind of make things a lot easier. Good thing is we fell back to like 26th, and it was just shortly after the pit cycle like ended. So I mean, we're, we're technically on a better tires, but I don't know if it's, it's really not by much. Maybe by like four laps, maybe. Poor Alex Bowman, I just, I get his ass is getting much dumb, no. I think in uh, an Ask for Nixon's Facebook group, there was someone that uh, posted uh, Bowman's, like, bumper from Texas for sale or something. And you see, like, the damage, and it's like a tiny little scrape. It's like, is that, I don't know, it's just, it's just insane to me. Just I guess it really shows just how small of an impact that was that actually, like, affected him. Well, primarily because back in the Xfinity series, kind of cheesed the system, really didn't deserve a championship. You know, it was just like he really wasn't that good all year. He just he was just kind of loafing around. But because he won Daytona, and then at home said that was just that was just enough. It was just, it was, it was just dumb. Then, uh, more recently, with uh, how he announced he was leaving Childress in the way that he did. Without telling Childress at all, and it just was just kind of shady and scummy on his part to do that. And I don't I think it was uh, not definitely not the way to do it. I think, I think anyone can agree that you know Childress is not on the same tier that it once was, and probably going to 23XI would probably be a good idea. But you don't you don't shit on the. Person that you're working with still. still there. Why you're still there. Stay low. Focus forward here. Hard from the outside, outside. Clear high, clear high. Mm -hmm way up through the field. We're up in this uh, main pack of cars now, so it's back to square one. Man, I wish that went green. I, I don't know why. It, it's done that a, f a couple times in the race, but I was able to kind of catch it. It's like when I turn, I mean, when I turn, I tap the stick. Because that, that's about the best way to turn in this game. And also, it saves on tires uh, doing it that way. That's something I learned from Scout back, uh, back in the day, a couple years ago. So tapping it kind of helps you like save the tires a little bit, so it doesn't burn, so it doesn't, so the temperatures don't go up in them. And because I do that, it's almost like once in a while when I do that, it just like doesn't register me doing that, and it acts like I I, I just let go of the stick. It's weird. I don't. I it's hard to even explain. But for whatever the reason. It happens here. It, it happened in my career mode, and it happened here. Now, I, 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 that could just be the Joy-Con. I, I mean, it's hard to even tell. I don't know. It's just bizarre. Right, but the fact that it happened there, it, it, I don't know. It's weird because, you know, I've, I've played, you know, P5 and stuff all the time. and I, I, Even at Vegas, like, I never had an incident where, you know, it just, just forgets to turn into the wall. Like, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not that bad. <laughs> to do something like that. And it sucks because it looked like I was gaining on the leader about like maybe a tenth or two a lap. So maybe it would have been possible to reel him in. But now we'll never know. We're catching Kyle Busch here. We're catching Shurex. And we're right, we're right back up there. 
We do have a slight tire advantage, like I was saying, but I don't think it's going to be enough to be like a gargantuan difference. I do think maybe a pro controller would be better, but they're so hard to find. And obviously, when I sold my Switch, my original Switch years ago, uh, the drive through, I gave them like the pro controller as well. Because, well, back then, you know, they weren't. It, it, nowadays, they're so they're so rare to find. They're like $70. I mean, I think that's how much like the new like, PS5 or Xbox One S series alphabet, whatever controllers are now. But they're just hard to find. like to, you know, try that because it probably would be better to use. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Blub. Like, I get it. Like, there's, like, that, like, 5% of me that gets it. Like, I understand why Ty, your, uh, yeah, why Reddick would want to, you know, leave right this. I get it. But he, he did it in, like, the All worst way possible. Could have been bad. Still there. Top's covered. Stay on the bottom. I guess this game thinking Kyle Busch uh, doing well in Vegas would happen. I mean, it happened in real life. I mean, he was uh, him and Trex were duking it out for the win in the spring race before that yellow came out. So, I mean, it certainly isn't impossible to think Kyle wouldn't be in contention to win today. We've got 21 laps to go. Definitely took me about maybe 20 laps to get up here. Well, JC, I think I'm going to have to disagree with that. I mean, I get I get him wanting to leave Childress. I get it, but you, you don't. My issue is he should have let Childress know. Shouldn't have done it behind his back like that. Should have been like a reasonable, like a reasonable mutual kind of agreement thing, and especially when you have like a year left in the contract, because you know I I don't know how the contracts work, but I mean Childress really could have been. An extra, you know, dick about it, and just kind of, you know, once he heard that, just you know, booted him from Childress. Then and I don't know how the, the contract works, but I mean, he could have, he could really could have done so much worse. But because you know, Quinn Stanley Kurt's injury, you know, that kind of made things a little bit easier, I guess, to make that decision to break the contract and then do all that sort of stuff. But yeah, my big gripe is you should have let him know about it. This is almost kind of mirroring real life at the time. For the spring race, it was uh, 
I think it was Truex leading a Cowboys second. I don't remember the order, but I know they were one too. And I just keep fucking hitting the goddamn apron. Oh my god, I just, I like just don't want to win. Apparently, like I like I want to. Kind of cool. The outside line can work. I like that. Get a draft here from uh, Almarola here. Cut Bottom down clear. low. Perfect. Well, not perfect enough because I him. couldn't get my ass to the bottom. Inside. They're not going to make it easy for me, aren't they? We're going to have to work for this, just like how Kerr had to win his, uh, his race at Kansas. He had to really work for that. Did it again there. I don't know if that's like a controller thing or, or what, but yeah, I could definitely feel it once in a while. Like when I turn, it just just doesn't want to turn anymore. It's weird. We got 14 to go. I mean, we're up here with the main pack. They're gonna make this really freaking hard to get this win here. Trix can go for a lead. Oh God, why, why do I keep fucking hitting the apron like that? Oh, that's that's so bad. Definitely a hell of a battle for a lead, that's for damn sure. We'll get a good run here, cut down low. Alright, we got the, got the inside line, just gotta hit, you know, hit our marks, don't hit the apron. Good, we got lat traffic here that can kind of screw them up, so... If we can kind of pull what we did here in the spring, where we get the lead, then have lap traffic kind of mess things up, kind of hold them up a bit, we can kind of do this. We could freaking pull this off. If we can get a, a, a Bush 1 2, I, I'm, I would be really, really freaking happy about that. So, Kyle, please get by Truex. I want a Bush 1 2. That would be freaking badass. I feel I'm afraid if I lose this lead, that's going to be it for me in the race. I don't know if I'll be able to get it back. So, just going to have to hit my marks, even park the bus a little bit, maybe give up a little bit of uh, speed in the corner just to kind of keep it on the bottom a little bit so we don't get that opening off the exit. We got a mayonnaise man up here, so. Get by him, no problem. Kyle's trying to pass now on the outside. We'll just let him go because he might get held up by this guy, which will be perfect, beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted to happen, and well, I didn't hold him up as much as I wanted, but it did it a fucking again with that shit. You see that? I don't. Ugh! I hate it. I hate that. Why is that? Why does it do that sometimes? Oh, Biffle. 
Oh, Biffle, you bro. Oh my god, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, he's holding up everyone. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Biffle. Oh, that was fucking magical. What an absolute chat. This, see, this is why I call him a bro. That was the most bro chat move ever. Two veterans helping each other out. That was the most just wholesome bit of non-teamwork ever. That was fucking awesome. Oh man, look at Kyle. Trying to get around the high side there. That's that's sad. Sad for us that we're I guess that's slow enough that we can be passing the outside. Oh, we got Cody Ware to deal with. Remember, he was the one that gave us damage earlier in the race to <laughs> Uh, cost us uh, so much. So what the fuck he was going there? What an absolute fucking idiot! All right, Kyle, Cody. Uh, oh boy, that's too wide. It's not where I want to be. Not where I want to be. Oh boy. Oh, Beach and McLeod, hold them up. Hold them up. Yeah. Yeah, hold them up. Yeah, hold them up. Oh, that was that. Thank you. I didn't think I'll ever think more sport games for a scenario like that, but it did. Yay. Oh, man. Cody Ware fucking tried and then Beachy McLeod saved us. What a, what a freaking legend. Oh, and they're getting held up back there. My hands are cramping up. This controller is so uncomfortable. <laughs> We're pulling away. What is this? What happened back there? Half a second lead. Where did this happen? Um. All right, I'll take it. I'm fine with that. I mean, that's another Kirk correlation because Kirk rate once raced in the 41, so that's kind of it's kind of wholesome. Four laps to go, and all of a sudden now we have about the biggest gap to the leaders we've had in a long green flag run. Thank you, Landon Castle. You might be uh, might be in the way to hold up other people like Custer back there. Looking at my mirror, it looks like he's doing just that, so. No, never mind. Oh man. Three to go. Custer's trying. He's just lurking back there. We're going to hit one more little glob of lap traffic that can kind of help us here. Custer's trying the high side. Two to go. And he's definitely trying. the bomb lane really really good that time here comes Truex that's another oh man lap traffic please I need lap traffic to save the day I think we're a bit too far out of the range all right white flag come on we just gotta nail these corners Truex. Oh, he's about to do the same shit he did at the end of stage two. Nope, I'm not doing it. Not not gonna have that happen. Here we go through three and four. Park the bus. Park it. Urgh! Yes! We're gonna do it for Kurt! Yeah! Yes! God damn! Oh, my hand! <laughs> Did it for Kurtz! Go! <laughs> yes! Oh! God! God, that was so much better than last week's Rover Race. My hands. Oh, my God. Oh, this is for fucking Kurt. Wait, this this is no, no, not not like that. This is for Kurt. 
in your badass career. Hell yeah, we're gonna get that that car a dub again. Fuck yeah, and we got damage. I don't care. This is for Kurt. Thank you so much for being an absolute badass legend in the sport. What a good fucking run. What a what a good goddamn race. I don't even know what to say. I'm so freaking happy. Look at frickin' JC. He just says nice. That's it? That's it. Nice. That's like the same level of excitement when, when a 69 number comes up on, uh, on the race screen. Oh, and the porn bots come in. Oh, that's that's wholesome. There's... that's that. I mean, the timing of that could not have been any more perfect. <laughs> the sound can't handle... Oh, God. I wanted to get up to speed a little more because I want to do like a spinning burnout, but I didn't get up to speed as much as I wanted. It's kind of hard to do that when this button doesn't really... Whatever. Yeah! Mm. I mean, you were fucking curse. I didn't mean it to say it like that. I didn't, mean, I didn't That's why I changed. That's why I stopped it. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what I did there, but that was kind of fucking cool. Joy Logano burnout. No, I. That's not what I was trying to do. That's that's not that's not it. I thought it was a Larson thing. I I don't care. I'm it's I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna admit it's a Logano thing. All right, that was the race. That was. I don't even know what to say. To that that was awesome. That was just really fucking cool. starts it really this is like the same problem it's like the same problem it does on the on the pc where it just like it it just kind of goes through a couple of them like really quickly so we'll see if it shows any like uh, specific wrecks that happen i think there was some in stage one but that was all stage one right there so i don't i don't really have a clue uh, lap 108 Also, I think I got the the thumbnail stuff to work out, like with the, the pictures I was able to kind of get, or like the stills, so I think I figured that out. I, I don't know why it wasn't doing that before. I don't know if I, maybe I was doing something wrong, but whatever. We got that out of the way. That was really tough. <laughs> was really tough. Ty Dillon and Daniel Hammer had some problems. Tire issues? Yep, tire issues. Two car incident. Ty Dillon just... I mean, that was a yellow. Uh, any other ones? Sure, X1 stage 2. He almost did the same shit at the end of that race that he did to me at stage 2. I was... I am so glad... So glad it didn't happen. Push me contact. That's a highlight? When Oh yeah, the Cody Ware thing, yeah. Yeah, that's where that came from. So two twenty three. I think this is when we're about to pit, or this is after we pitted. Yeah, then we got that incident with Bowman. 
just looks so bad. I. Do a full race to use other group game wheels. Uh, yeah, from what I, 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 that's how I got the thumbnail today. Um, I, I used it, I used that, so it did work. I want to show this because I don't understand why this happens. Like I'm turning, I'm turning. And then it just like acts like I don't turn anymore. Do you see how that that does is so strange? Like I play been playing these dance games for like twenty three years now. Like I know not to do that, but it's just like it just like it stopped registering me turning at a certain point. Like I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, and then it just just stops. And then it like picks it up again. Like why would I consciously just It's weird. I don't I don't know if that's a Joy-Con thing. I know these things are notorious for like having drift issues, but I don't think that would pertain to this. So I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a game thing or what. I mean, I have to get like a Switch uh, Pro controller to figure that out. But whatever. That that was the race. That was the last like actual like yellow there. So we get 104 speed rating, and there is our trophy. Not only is it cool that we did it for Kurt, but we did it in that in that type of car that won in real life. That's good stuff. That's a feel-good moment. Very, very happy to have that. Happy to get a dub for him. I'm happy we... Uh, I might have to get the race win version of that 45 car. And everything. Because that might be his, might be his last win ever. So. I was already kind of considering it, but... I wasn't much of a fan of the car originally. But I might have to get it some point. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you. I, I don't know why I'm saying it to the car like it's, it's him, but pfft. yeah. That's good. Good stuff. Uh, we got the fastest lap at a 30.7. Still, that's way far off from the pole. Ooh, we led 114 laps out of the uh, 267. And uh, we started 39th, got first, and who had the bad break? Christopher Bell. Started first, finished 18th. Oh, oopsie doodles. That was a two hour and 16 minute race. That's actually pretty quick. Uh, Trix actually ended up getting second. I kind of almost blacked out like whoever was running behind me. I was just trying to block and try to hold my spot. But Ryan Blaney gets fifth. Uh, Kyle Busch gets third. So the, the dream scenario didn't quite happen. We did get Trix. That's that's also also bizarrely fitting because both those are two of my favorite, like, drivers currently in the field at the moment so weird how that worked out <laughs> um, there's a top 10 Chase Elliott was kind of a no-show throughout the whole race Bowman after dying gets 13th uh, or 12th uh, Timmy Hill got 19th and outran Denny Hamlin Denny Hamlin which is non-existent in this race he <laughs> Timmy Hill outran Austin Sindrick Bubba Wallace and Denny Hamlin and Kevin Harvey. I what a freaking timeline! Timmy Hill with the run of his freaking career. Chase Briscoe with a horrific run, and JJ Lee. I think the only person at DNF from the race officially, which is pretty funny because he always sucks. So that's fun. And that is Vegas. That was a good. That was a good goddamn race compared to last week's Rover race. That was like. A zero to a hundred in terms of quality. Still a little bit of weird problems, like the AI not spreading out enough from the main. Like that was that was just good all around. It was way, way, way more tolerable. <sighs> that was good. Good stuff. I don't know what more to say. It's good. 
sex spot her you talk about the use of time with me i that, i there might be some correlation to that the timing of that was way too perfect well i guess with that we'll wrap up the stream the race will be starting in about a half hour so that gives me enough time to get something to eat real quick and come back day 500 is already probably starting to start preparing a stream or already starting um yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in as usual. I really appreciate it. We had as much as uh, 57 people watching at one point, which is pretty goddamn awesome. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for everything. Thanks for tuning in. I know I kind of started the... the um, I know I kind of um, prepared everything at like the last minute. Like when it like comes up in like notifications. Because usually it comes up like at, you know, or later in the morning. Around like midnight or something. So... I don't know. I was late. I was I was just very tired. I wasn't in the best of moods, but um, yeah. So yeah. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, we're hitting right at three hours. That's adorable. But yeah. Um, either way, that'll do it for me in the stream. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, as far as like super chats and stuff that happened throughout the stream. Um, thank you, Golf Kid, with the 4.99 earlier on. Uh, Bailey Carey with the 4.99. Dave 500 for being a member for eight consecutive months, and Scott McNew dropping the 20 bomb right uh, about an hour ago, roughly. So thank you for that so much. It means a lot. It goes a long ways with the channel and me in general. It's just it's really really appreciated. So thank you so much. That's pretty fuck. That's cool. Happy these uh, streams seem to do pretty well on Sundays like this so often. So that's always really cool. But yeah, that'll do it for me. I'll get going here. I'm going to take this shirt off because uh, this is just falling apart. <laughs> so, yeah. Take care. Hopefully the race is good. I'm going to assume it is. I'm tired of all the drama. So, hopefully it's just a drama-free race without any, like, crazy controversies and other stuff. So, we'll see. That'll do it for me. I'll see you in another video. See you all later and all that good stuff. More videos throughout the week. Race review on Mondays like usual, and then, um, oh god, uh, more World of Outlaws stuff, so the championship mode, the career mode, then rivals career, so we're going to be kind of busy with all that different stuff for quite a while, it seems like, so, yeah. Either way, that'll do it for me. Thanks everybody for stopping by and everything. Take care. Ow. But, yeah. Have a good day, 